never surrender. Never give up. Never surrender. To there, there's a real. I can't remember the. I can't remember the name of it, but there's a really, really good documentary about Galaxy Quest out there. Uh, a documentary of a documentary. A documentary, no, about a movie about Galaxy Quest, the and it's really, really, the really good. The documentary. Um, what is it they call them? The documentary files. The doc. The, his, the, the historical historic records. Yeah, the historical historic records. Yeah. There, there is one of my favorite parts of the entire documentary is. Uh, apparently, at, at least in the beginning of the production, Alan Rickman and Tim Allen weren't really getting along all that great because Tim Allen didn't take things quite as the job quite as seriously as Rickman did. And after they filmed the scene where Tim Allen's character watches Balthazar die and has to have this emotional moment when when Balthazar dies, and after they finished filming it, Tim Allen was still feeling the scene and he was very quiet and moved by the scene he had just been in and alan rickman says oh my god i think he just experienced acting well did he get to did tim that, allen that, get to uh, see uh rick wait uh, and die in uh harry potter yeah rick yeah. Waitman. rick rick what's his name alan rickman that guy, Alan Rickman. <laughs> Rick Wakeman. That was, was it a rock and roll or something? Rick yeah. Wakeman. So, Carl, you're talking about the scene where where the uh, says, Buy Grabthor's hammer. Buy Grabthor's hammer. Yeah. I will avenge you. I will be avenged. You will be avenged. You will be avenged. I've only seen the movie like five times, six times. So, I don't have memories. That's all? Yeah. I don't watch a lot of TV and movies, so yeah. So is somebody going to do a, a trivia contest on Galaxy Quest? <laughs> Ooh, it could happen. Jim. Maybe you should. Gee. Are you it, am I putting you down uh, for next I, week? I, I, I'd have to do a lot of looking up because I because I have it's it's ages since I since I saw it. <laughs> Just watch it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could uh, read the Wikipedia page yeah <laughs> that's it but i don't want to have all that like busy stuff like i don't know i i, I don't like it whenever they do mm -hmm. the uh, yeah. when we do categories they get two two in the weeds with the names of the actors and stuff because i'm just experiencing the movie i don't care about who the people are i should just not pay attention to that it's all about the which is like example it's all about the um the thing thank you mm -hmm. a galaxy quest documentary okay let me that's see. a good name for a galaxy quest documentary <laughs> hey oh, but you didn't give us the but you didn't give us the link to the movie i assume you're aware of this tool called google yeah but see that we'll everybody's got things. i just want a link because to the torrent to the torrent yeah <laughs> that <laughs> sounds illegal yeah oh no here it is never surrender a galaxy quest uh documentary it's an uh, hour and 26 minutes, so this must be it. It's and included it on? with Prime. It's on Prime. Oh, is it on, on Prime? Prime? Free yep. on Prime? It says included with Prime. Okay. I've noticed some of those on Prime, and they'll say four ninety nine or something, you know. Included for an extra cost. <laughs> yeah. Included for an extra cost. Okay, let me get this ready. Are we ready? I'm ready to go. I'm doing everything tonight. I'm super excited. Karen was going just to there. try and make it longer tonight. Oh, good, because I got all sorts of good stuff. Carolyn, I, good. I only have the best stuff. The best. Romero, how are you feeling? Oh, there's Romero. Look, he's out hiking. Look at he's going to have a better. beautiful day out there in the wilderness. You feeling better now? Oh, uh, way better. Yeah. Good. Yeah, you sound better. You sound better. Yeah. Yeah. Are yeah. you able to? mingle with human beings now or no uh well i still tested uh positive on tuesday so i didn't really we were supposed to go somewhere but we didn't go anywhere and then uh, i tested negative on wednesday um so we did the skeptics i hope i i hope the test wasn't wrong <laughs> you didn't hear from anybody <laughs> yeah um 
test for co or COVID or for something else? For COVID. Yeah. Okay. Because. Uh, okay. It was. Okay. It it wasn't all that long ago that I had some something that gave me a bit of a, a sore throat and a bit of a cough, and uh, I tried to use the leftover COVID test from a few years ago, and and. Uh, I don't know. It seems like the the fluid evaporates through those that plastic. Uh, oh yeah, the little one. Yeah. 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 So, so I didn't have enough to really test, and and then I was told, hey, they they're not making them anymore, <laughs> or not or at least free. Make, uh, of course they are. Uh, there. Me. Oh look, there's people who want to get in here. Mm -hmm. Well, as weird as I know, two separate people who tested, you know, as soon as they had symptoms and it was negative, and then as soon as they were feeling better, it tested positive. So it took like a, over a week. Ah, Lee, you think somebody should be in charge of this? When they yeah. make viruses, they don't make pandemics and viruses like oh. they used to. Yeah. So it's kind Hi, of Ron. Weird. Yeah. Ron. 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 Yeah, we don't get the, we don't get stuff like the nineteen flu that I, kills. I run without hard. a K. Yeah, <laughs> today's the twentieth. Oh, 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 we're on game two twenty, and it's six twenty. And I don't know what here. summer solstice is it? Was, this, was this afternoon at one fifty one p.m. Uh, Pacific time. Doesn't feel like it here. Yeah. We should have done something pagan like. Yeah. Hi, Jane. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? What are you doing I'm, sitting there? I'm getting there. Don't sit there. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> but glad you're a little better than last week. Seems yeah, a lot I'm better. better than last week. No, oh, not oh yeah. That's better. right, Carolyn. You, you just sick got last week, early. Carolyn? Um, so I Still haven't seen the physical therapist because the doctor who was going to send it in on Friday apparently did not. So um, I don't get to go in until next week. So I'm just, you know, what can you do? Yeah, I hear you. You can play trivia. I just got <laughs> back from the gym and it was like a miracle drug. What? I, am, I did ride my trike. I went back on my trike because I figured, well, I could sit and be in pain or I can at least try and do something and be in pain. So, I, you <laughs> yeah, know. good attitude again. Moving, moving around yeah. helps a lot. And there's a lot of other things that does good things for. You. But I think I have shin splints and I kept kind of pushing through and it was the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And sometimes so that pain depends. is telling you, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it was a real disaster. Oh, no. Uh, my, my, my attitude is always, well, gee, if the exercise hurts, I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it depends. Not always. <clears throat> no. Sometimes there's a good sore that tells you you're doing no. something. Yeah, I felt amazing leaving the gym today. It's my second time back since February 2020. Wow. <laughs> That's a little while. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I stopped as soon as, you know, we got whiff of what was coming. Because I figured the gym was about the worst place you could be. Mm. And then. Yeah, that will be pretty bad. Yeah. So that was in February of 2020. Mm -hmm. And then I haven't really felt comfortable about going back yet but now I go there's almost nobody there when I go at like two in the afternoon or three in the afternoon it's so quiet and I just decided I need it so bad and it it's yeah it's really I felt really good but I'm starving so please excuse me while I eat bon appetit yeah. so so is Vincent not going to be here today I think he is. Nobody's heard. Uh, has, has anybody heard any different? I hadn't heard anything different, but isn't Adrian out like on a road trip or something? Oh, she wasn't here last week either. Mm -hmm. I think I remember yeah. seeing a message. She was mm -hmm. talking to somebody else saying, yeah. "I can't get that done because I'm going to be on a road trip." Yeah, I think she's going to go see her parents or something. Yeah. Uh, Lee's going to be here. He's running late because of a llama meeting. 
he has a llama board meeting and i always joke with him every time you know how do you get the llamas to to sit still and how do you you know and why are they so bored yeah. <laughs> i think he's tired of my jokes yeah. um, and uh jamie's got uh it's busy he's got some minor thing he's got to deal with but he can't be here he's got an appointment he can't he can't be here and he said tell everybody hi so hi and, my, and my prayer's gonna be a little bit late yeah ben ben may or may not show up he's got some school work and a test to take yeah, yeah he's starting really school not. here comes cat they, they don't let's see i seem to be the so yeah yeah i guess i am the sole canadian here so but well, so no, cat's on her way here's yeah. cat ah, <laughs> okay okay so cat is probably the only one who, who i'm an ex canadian yeah who 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 <laughs> heard who heard the calgary news <laughs> why what's happening in the calgary <clears throat> oh well uh, uh a big water main broke so we're uh uh so we're be all uh, all being urged to uh, uh, minimize the water use. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. I would either that or you can go swimming down Main Street. Yeah. Well, well, they uh, they shut off the water through that pipe, but uh, 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 but I but there but there was some water damage uh, along the uh, uh, in the vicinity. <laughs> So we have two Canadians. That's I think that's our limit, right? Yeah. And Kat's not going to be as depressed as she was last Thursday. Oh, well, she's not wearing her. Was she got, no, she doesn't have her tear on. I have sparkles on, but it's okay, not a full well, Kind of okay. Yeah. Kind of there. You want me to go get a tiara? Where's your Oilers t-shirt? We know that you have a it's tiara. Not even when you're not wearing it. <laughs> even if you're not wearing a tiara, you've got a tiara on. Always. Leonard knows me. He understands. Absolutely. We haven't met, but I know you. <laughs> exactly. We've virtually met, and that's good enough. And Ron, I bet you're happy because of the bet. Something yeah, I was. I, I'm abs Alan was already getting ready for the ten dollars after game three. There's and sports, it's I like, think, right? Nope. Sports stuff. <laughs> oh, it just on me. Since I'm doing all the categories, I can put them all in <laughs> on my spreadsheet right now. And yeah, I could do that. Well, if if you can find the person that's doing them now, now I wait a minute. Might. Huh? So that means that now I can't go open the spreadsheet to check the scores. During oh, the you better not. Then I'll see your stuff. Yeah, you can't do that. All right. You guys better stay off. You you better you better. You'll have to be doing just like that everybody when else does, in. and they they check the scores when they check the scores. Okay, so I'm wait, there's go. scores. <laughs> and since that other canadian is not here doing years. dad jokes i have to fill in for him all these years we've been doing this i hope i like the i hope i like the way i'm doing it um, i like that Rob. oh what you missed, missed Ron. that's a groaner ron i heard him oh, say it's, it's a bad like, joke i'm filling in for vincent oh what was the bad joke looking you're a oh. chap okay <laughs> He doesn't Very want good. to say it because we're being recorded, but I'm it right. says, today I learned that if you flip a canoe over, you can wear it as a hat because it's capsized. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it showed up on my good. Facebook that's feed today. I liked it. That is, that is very good. Mm -hmm. One of these categories I wrote a few minutes ago. With Canadians in mind? No. Oh. Uh. It's going to be okay. Would it be possible to do a bonus early in the rounds instead of later? I have a bonus, mm -hmm. but I need Canadians for it. <laughs> and I'm figuring if I do it at the very end, Jim's always gone. Adrian, half the time, doesn't How about make next it week? I'll late. let you go first. So do a bonus at the beginning. That way, yeah. all the Canadians will definitely be there. Okay, I'm putting you in for next week. Uh, not next week. It'd have to be the week after. I'm going to be out of town next week. I just gave you this amazing <laughs> opportunity, and you're saying no. Yeah, okay, but he has okay, a life, you see. I'm putting. I'm putting. No, I'm not. I'm seeing the mother-in-law. There's no life there. Ew. Sorry. Ooh, I hope someday to be a mother-in-law. I, I don't want to be, be a one. cool mom. I am now a mother-in-law. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah. That's. <laughs> that's I'll never I'm be really, a grandmother. But I have I, a really cool. I'm a, I'm a grandma twice too. Oh, 
just all of a sudden one day. That's when it happened. <laughs> and and after the wedding, the kids came up to me and said, now you're our grandmother. <laughs> Already oh. then. And I'm I'll like, you, Grandma. yes, I am. <laughs> if you'll take me. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. My grandfather got remarried at the age of around 65. And then his new bride, you know, we were all there, got my mother and my aunt and her daughters together and said, you all are sisters now. Aww. Oh, they thought it was funny, not sweet. Anyway. <laughs> was there a huge age also gap? also depend on the person. Yeah. Huh. And yes, I'm still distracted by sports, but it's a different sport. It's footy. Oh, my insurance company said that if my tent was stolen, I would not be covered. Oh. What? Oh, those are awful. Keep them coming. <laughs> okay, so I've got, I think everything. Yeah, don't be looking. But... <laughs> Okay, yeah. I'm trying to decode Rob's background. I'm trying to read Kyle's shirt. It's going to be so... It's a photograph I took inside the sphere during the movie. What's oh, different cool. this time? It's a lyric from this band's song. <clears throat> my shirt just says, really, okay. why the hell not? Because that's my attitude. <laughs> Mine says... Spirits return. <laughs> Do spirits return? And it's got a spirits returning. Oh, only what? if you've got a receipt. <laughs> What's a spirit? The back? It's from Mine it's says... from a, a mentalist conference I went to in South Carolina in January. Wow, is it really just this year? Oh my gosh, Lord! It was just a few months ago. Oh not man, either. this year has just gone. One of our speakers got back to me today because we we asked him for um, t-shirt size for complimentary t-shirts. And she says, I'm a medium. And oh. <laughs> I almost, I don't know her, never met her. So I almost said, you might not want to say that for a skeptical conference, but I decided no. <laughs> I just hey, said <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell Susan about you. She probably would have been like, hi, Deborah. She'd probably been like, what? Hey. Deborah. What? We did talk about you last night. Oh, good. Did you get to any um solutions or anything like that? No, actually, all we did, as I said, I was told uh, we're going to be talking about. I told Robin, I said we're supposed to be talking about Deborah. So, <laughs> Deborah, 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 and she goes, "Yeah, Deborah's very nice." And I said, "Yeah, Deborah, Deborah, Caspian, Jamie, we're talking about Deborah," and they looked very confused. And they said, "I said, oh. <laughs> and then I said, okay." We've all talked about Deborah, and that was it. Kind of like North Korea. Kind of. Look at I have a I have a guest. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Imogen. Hi, sweetheart. Gonna be on my team, huh, girl? She says I'll be on your team. So, so Rob, we have to stay out of the spreadsheet tonight because she may be pre-populating the category. It's all done. I've got all the questions what? What and answers. Doing? Don't what? look at the spreadsheet. Because it's She's got already put the categories the and everything on of each round. What are you going to do when you need them to fix it? Yeah. They won't need to fix it. Well, there's no we'll reason I can't we'll, look at it. Oh, my the... God. We'll have to do it the old-fashioned way where we see her. Well, look. She shares the spreadsheet. And we just shout at her until she gives up. <laughs> All of us. She <laughs> shouts at the same time. I think those are hilarious. Wait, there's no reason not to look at the, the first sheet. Is there? The one with the scores. Um, You could look at the sheet. Yeah, you could do that because there's no... I don't. I don't have to unless you unless it, if you constructed it wrong again so that it doesn't uh, work. Have you tested it so it works? No. I was why would you do week. that? Yeah, that would be an engineer like thing, Rob. I don't think we're going to launch anything into space. Okay, I got to get you guys on your teams here. Hold on. We're going to get started. Start to be like two people per team or what? Yeah, so we have two people per team. They'll they'll they'll, they'll get here faster next time. Will they? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Either that or they won't. I wanted to ask Brandy what 
And, and Kyle, what's the temperature out there? Because um, it's <laughs> That's like almost the first like thing mid nineties here in New Jersey. What is, what is it over there? It's exactly the same thing right I said. Now. Where it are may you? be a little bit more humid in Jersey, though. Yeah. Where are you, Randy? Las Vegas. Oh. Yeah, last year, like at this time, there were like, you know, cooking eggs on the sidewalk was making the news. Well, we had frost warnings um, two oh, nights this week, what? and it's going to be in the 80s by <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, it is. Let me tell you. That sounds like a gardening nightmare. It's wonderful here. I've been doing so much yard work because it's been so cool. I have to wear a jacket. I told, I was saying I had to wear, I have to turn on, Mark's been turning on the heat. It got to 62 today. <laughs> it's like so cold. Tomorrow it's going to hit 67. Here it got to 93, but luckily the humidity is only 45%. <laughs> it's it's going to be warm right over the now. weekend. Oh season. my gosh. I'm We're so envious, Deborah. <laughs> We're it's warm not, Sunday. What, 103 tomorrow here or something? No. Uh, <laughs> We're being warned here that on Sunday we're going to get 110. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. No, tomorrow's only 98. No, it's Saturday that's 105. Oh. This is why it's so expensive to live where I live. Because so, you can't buy so the A lot weather. of you are, 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 are hotter, hotter than Astro's age. 96 point... <laughs> Yeah, they always gave that in uh, centigrade. I want. I, I. I always had to think about what is that in Fahrenheit. Well, just be glad Romero, you're not in Saudi tonight? Arabia. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm always glad. Yeah, I'm gonna say Saudi Arabia. Pretty much <laughs> well, every day. <laughs> be, because of the weather. What's um, going on? Highest temperature ever recorded in Mecca. 125 degrees. Oh, it's uh, during the Hajj. Yeah, they've got 500. So there people are people dead. walking around it, without oh, their head covered. Oh, and stuff. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's called hard. Darwin. <laughs> I heard a bunch of people is, died too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Air Force, he served a tour in Saudi Arabia and he said, Oh, yeah, it's might. great. You get these air conditioners for your tent to take it all the way down to about 100 degrees in the tent. Have you an idea how uh, it's like seventy two Fahrenheit here right now, which is twenty two to the rest of the world. Somebody's got some awkward it, it's background quite noise. Warm. Cindy needs to mute. Oh. Is it Cindy? Yes. Yes, it's okay, Cindy. 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 Thank you. All right. So who's going to be the victim to play? I think it's Ron. He's right in front of me. So you're in charge of making sure that the whatever needs to be done. You're in charge. Whatever needs to be done. Yeah, well, uh, you're doing it. Zoom related. Adjutant. So I need to mute Susan. Is that what I heard? <laughs> no. No. Uh, no. You, can't, you can't mute me or ban me. I feel, if I feel you feel the need. <laughs> oh, I had the thing open. All right. Uh, if the spirit moves you. Yeah. I'm going to put her here. More people will show up, as you guys all know. And this will do it for now. Get us. Look at your get us. Oh, How much does your cat weigh, cat? <laughs> he's lost a lot of weight recently, um, but he's seven kilos, so 16 pounds. That's a kitty. Oh, that's a that's a kitty. I have a, I have a That's big a hunter nice. kitty. Yeah. I would be glad if I could get my cats down to sixteen yeah. pounds a piece. So yeah, how, yeah. how much? How much is in the kitty? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever oh. it wants. That's Jay Diamond heavier. is on my bad side because at the Zoom meeting when my kitty came up, he called it vermin. Ooh. Oh, he's Who mean. Did that? Cat. Who did that? Oh, Jay. He he does not like cats. And you know when he's come to my house, the cats are all over him, and he can't stand him. Wow. <laughs> I love your cats. You know, I like Jay. So, so, if you know, if, if there's a choice, I'm choosing the cats. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Jay. Wow. All right, everybody. So excited to have you guys here. Oh, here comes Robin at the last second. I will put her. Right. We have the lowest score. We don't have any points yet. 
<laughs> and I, that I'm makes glad you tied that, I'm for glad, first. I'm very glad. Oh, wow. I was worried about Kat. I was worried about she would be in a total state of depression tonight. But uh, things have looked up a little bit last little last right. few days. So something like, happened oh. in sports. Yes, it's a sports thing. <laughs> it's a sports thing. Oh my goodness! I thought our team is still alive. But the team's wrong. No. Uh -oh. This goes. No, I don't have them wrong. I just have them on the wrong line. Sorry. I'll fix it right now. And it's... Alan, you missed the fact that I'm watching different sports right now Bill, too. Jane and Janine. What are you watching? Bill Jane. Footy. Oh, okay. So Canada, Argentina. Ron. Uh, you're you're muted, Alan. One, two, three, four, five. Draw your what, what are they what are they playing? Uh, they're not playing hockey. <laughs> they're not playing hockey. <laughs> Footy. Nope. Football, Footy. soccer. Randy. Oh, oh slow motion hockey. <laughs> grass, grass, grass basketball. basketball. <laughs> okay, I think I've got everybody in the correct. I have it written down right now. I'm just going to add no hands football as opposed to handed football. Ramiro's uh, COVID kill off fake. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put Robin. Oh, she's right coming. <laughs> okay. All right. And Faith is on her way. Well, right? she has to get out into the forest to join Romero. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she has a long hike. Okay, everybody. <laughs> so, very excited today. I'm in charge completely. This is so nice. And Karen came over and just brought me a gift. And I'm going to show you the gift she brought me. But I don't know if it'll, I can show you really well. But she made me this little apple. It's oh, look at that. like a flower. Isn't it gorgeous? It's so pretty. What a surprise. And she put a she put it in a little basket and she put a little ribbon on it and she gave me a card. So Karen, I want you to I want you to do a tutorial on how to do that. Well, Karen's I said Karen. Yeah. Okay, here's a trivia question she gave me with the uh, with this. Question What does the gifting of fruit or flowers signify? That you like fruit and flowers? <laughs> there, there's 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 fertility <laughs> fertility <laughs> gift? Yeah, that's what I need, fertility. <laughs> <laughs> Your sincerity there was overwhelming, Susan. <laughs> okay, the answer is it's a traditional gift for a fourth anniversary. Fourth yeah, anniversary. Good. Isn't that sweet? So it's our fourth anniversary. It's actually a little over fourth anniversary, but that's okay. We're a fourth anniversary in, I think, a week, right? We hit season five um, last week. So, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is this is perfect, Karen. Good job. Kevin, so sweet. Did everybody Come bring me a Kevin. gift? No. <laughs> Karen. Who's got the powers? Well, we know that Karen is the nicest person in this game. Well, apparently, yeah, I guess. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> She's pretty damn nice. Okay. So it's going to be maybe a little different. So we'll see. Let's do that let's, for you guys all today. I've been told to tell you hello from Jamie, who is not able to join us tonight. He has a doctor's appointment. It's the morning and Friday there, so he can't he can't make it. Lee will be here. He's at a he's being bored with llamas right now. And um, Adrian is with her parents who are watching. Uh, her, his dad is uh, Ocaspian, says he'll be later. And his dad said, uh, she says her dad is reading the book by Rachel Maddow, the newest one I think that's out. And they love Rachel Maddow. So, all right. Team name. The book or her podcast? Uh, the book. There's a book out. Yeah. And there's a podcast out too, and I have yeah the new the it's next really part of amazing. Ultra's out. Mm -hmm. Oh, here comes all the stuff they didn't teach you in school. Oh my gosh, very interesting. amazing, very depressing, but very interesting. Okay, so let me put you guys a couple people in the rooms. Okay, <laughs> Carolyn, Karen, Carl, and Cindy. What is your team name tonight? Okay, before I tell you this, there were a lot of different topics we were discussing. <laughs> we were running out of time, so here it is. Louisiana's new state motto, theocracy for all. Nice. <laughs> oh, my God. Which, right. which commandment is that? 
<laughs> well, which set of commandments? <laughs> I know. Deborah, oh, I, I saw James. Well, that would be the first one. I think it's the first commandment, actually. Yeah. James yes. Corbell, is that his name? James Cor Carvin? Carvel? The guy Carvel? 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 Carvel, he said, which version? There's like 10, 10 different ones. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, so, somebody posted the uh, uh, the official German version in, <laughs> in the Nazi. The German? Oh, the Nazi yeah. one? Oh. Got mittens? Uh, yeah, if, if you if you look at Exodus twenty, it's, there's about sixteen imperative statements. Yeah. Oh, there, there. I, I've I've often used this as an example of the fact that religion makes it impossible to think clearly. Every thing mm -hmm. that is numerical in religion, the Ten Commandments, there's no way you can get ten. There's a <laughs> there's a, a common um, Jewish phrase, the 13 attributes of God. If you read the 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 prayer, there's no way you can get 13. Yes. The four questions <laughs> during um the Seder, there's five of them. Our two main uh, weapons are <laughs> fears. Oh, <yeah. laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I know that one. Okay. So we're I, I saw yeah we're we're just getting to the team names, so Deborah, Cat, Leonard, and Robin. Oh, <laughs> we put it in there at the same time. <laughs> let's well, go that's because we have to say it multiple times. Oh, that's let's right. Go wow. Okay. <laughs> Don't say it like a question. Let's yeah, go. Oilers. Let's go. Oilers. Enthusiasm. enthusiasm behind that one. Okay, Brandy, Kyle, Janine, Gail, and Kevin. Kevin's Kevin. getting it. Kevin, you were doing that. <clears throat> Kevin, do you have it in? He looks like he's typing. Okay. Must be must be long. No, it's not. Well, Kevin. Oh, you want slogan. my team name? I got yeah. it. Sorry. Yes. I had the volume off. Yeah. <laughs> I am dumb <laughs> over Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, Jane, Ron, and Celia, you're on this team. R.I.P. Willie Mays and Donald Sutherland. Who's next? Fingers crossed. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Okay. And it must have been out to Jamie's house. Jane, Faith, Romero, <laughs> Rob, and Alan. So uh, well, at the time we did this, we had two kids. We had two Canadians and two Americans, and and in about two minutes, I heard a boot about five times. So, is it about or is it a boot? Okay. Catch it. It's about a boot. Give us some. No, we don't do that. Yeah. What if it's about a shoe? Yeah. Okay. A boot, a boot. So no team names related to the. Or is it? Or is it about a boat? No team names. What? Related to the solstice today. No, we were talking about it. Um, we did talk about we that. We like didn't come up. We, that we talked be, about it also. That should be really significant up in Canada. Huh? How long yeah, is but, the day today yeah, well, where you are? Yeah, well, Bloody we long. do get quite a bit. 24, 24 hours. hours. Uh, let's see. What was it? Uh, let's see. So the difference between today uh, and yesterday and tomorrow uh, is not. So that's uh, the, the solstice 16, was. 16. About 16 and a half hours uh, between sunrise and sunset. Oh. You guys I'm over so, 17 hours so of daylight. Uh, All right. You ready? The solstice itself That's cool. occurred at 1.51 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Now, if we had anybody from Alaska, they'd have a really long day today. Well, depending yeah. on what part of Alaska. Or uh, Sweden. Uh, or... Some of it is north of the Arctic Circle, so they'd get, get a full 24 hours of sunlight. Uh, uh. I know I put a bell on my desk for a reason. All right. So we are at game 220. We are in season five, which means we are in our fifth year. We've never missed a Thursday, not even a Thanksgiving. It's uh, electric. We are at June 20th, 2024, game 220. And the teams that are competing tonight, and I am running all of the teams, All I mean, all the games. I've got all the questions, all the categories, and the teams that are vying for the trophy for 220 are Louisiana's new state motto, theocracy for all versus 
Let's go Oilers versus Iron Dome over Mar-a-Lago versus RIP Willie Mays and Donald Suther Sutherland. Who's next? Fingers crossed. Versus is it about or a boot? Who will be our winner today? Game tw 20. Now, so what I have for you, you guys have seen my categories in the past. They're a bit different. I They're not clever. You guys do clever things. Mine aren't clever. They're just different. So, um, and as you guys all know, I would like it to be a little more difficult. I don't want people to just get 10s, especially all 10s. If you're going to get a 10, you're working for it. So here we go. We've got five categories. Five. Yeah, four and a bonus. Right. And keep in mind, next week I only have Rob listed. So as we go through this, if you want to PM me and tell me that you want to what, do it for next week. Bonus, yeah. I thought you had me down for next week also. Oh, I can. All right. So here is the first category. Now, I love reading the paper oh here comes faith and faith is going to be on the same team oh. as you Romero right okay so I love reading the paper newspapers or online papers I I just I read a lot of this kind of stuff here's one of my newspapers and I just am one of those people who like some of the odd and unusual so I picked a newspaper and it's called the New York Times and I sat down and I wrote 10 questions based on the New York Times from one day. And the day was June 7th, 2024. Not that that's super important, but it is important to know that on that day, I just looked at the New York Times and I did 10 questions from 10 stories. And they sh hopefully they're not going to be, unless you read this, and you read it rel religiously, you may not know these. But then again, what, what day of the week was that? Seventh. Well, yeah. What, what day of the week it? is that? That makes a difference whether there's science or food. Well, but why don't you I see if calendar. your team knows that, Celia, yeah. instead of asking for it for everybody to know? Yeah, you gave us it's, a hint. It's not a Friday. The calendar. Okay, so what we're gonna know? What we're gonna do is, even if you don't read the New York Times, you may be able to reason these out. For some, some of them, I think you will. Okay, so the first category. We're going to be doing tonight is called according to the new york times do you want everyone muted no okay okay thank you all right so question number one according to the new york times japan's economy relies on vending machines <laughs> oops and i misspelled country how many are in the country plus or minus 20 percent Okay. All right. Question two. According to the New York Times, vending machines are common for this reason. So there may be a little bit of, you might, my questions are kind of a little more open-ended. You may have to describe things and that's for the whole night. You might have to come up with like something more than just a yes or no or anything. Okay, continuing with the category, according to the New York Times, why, according to the New York Times, why are vending machine owners in Japan upset? Was number two also Japan? Yes. Thank you. Question number four, according to the New York Times, most ramen prices are set below a thousand yen. How much is a thousand yen in American dollars? And that's plus or minus 10%. So when they're, when they're buying something for a thousand yen, about what are they paying in American money? So Canadians double that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Okay. Rude. <laughs> I know. Sorry. Uh, they have another misspelling. I use spreadsheets. I don't use Word. And so it does, when I'm using a spreadsheet, it doesn't tell me the, um, uh, if something's, it doesn't give me the little squiggly lines tell me something's misspelled. Okay. According to the New York Times, 
This statement is about what? Okay, here's the statement. At a time when many need connection more than ever, the blank walls speak to a moment when connection may also feel insufficient or impossible. So what is that statement about? Blank is a question. Yeah. Oh. No. At, what, no, what is it about? What it what is it? We'll no. talk about it in your room and you'll figure it out. No, the blank is the blank. Walls. The blank walls is not the word blank is supposed to be there. It's not okay. a, still in the there blank. Thank you for noticing now. Okay. Question six. I should read these over before I put them up. Um okay. Did I spell that right? According to the New York Times, the Duke and Duchess of Westminster were married. They funded the annual Summer Flowers Project, which was 100,000 flowers planted in displays across the city. And in addition to their celebrations, they invited visitors to the city center, the center of the city, on Friday, and it's already passed, you guys, so, to receive what free, to receive what, uh, to receive free what from three independent businesses in the city center. So I'm looking for what do people get free if they went to the independent businesses in the city center on that Friday and it's passed. So you can't get it. Sorry. Now it's too late. But what was it they were funding in honor of their wedding? Okay. Oh, these are fun. According to the New York times, Jeanette Charles died at the age of 96 she doubled for this person in many movies for decades. Who was her famous lookalike? <laughs> okay. Question number eight. <clears throat> According to the New York Times, a woman shoplifting in a Target store in Los Angeles was followed to a home where she delivered the stolen goods. There, the police found over 2,800 boxes of what? Cellulose. Oh, oh no. She reads the New York Times, don't you, Celia? Anybody here read the New York Times? Occasionally. Okay. Not every day. Occasionally. Okay. Question nine. Now remember, this is things may change way in the future, but this is on this day. I wrote this questions. So hopefully they're still <laughs> accurate. Question nine, number nine. According to the New York Times. Families of Sandy Hook victims will probably never see the full $1.4 in damages from Alex Jones. Negotiations to keep him from ever repeating his false claims failed. So now the family seek to do what? They'll probably never get all the money. So what are they going to do? Bury him alive. Well, let's... <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Question 10. According to the New York Times, what U.S. state will be able to claim the tallest building in the United States with a 1,907-foot tower called Legends Tower? And that's all I have for you. And then we're going to go to our rooms. Hopefully these are challenging. I'm looking forward to seeing your faces in the room. So... Let's do that. Let me add the three people that I need to add to the room so that they will be joining you briefly in a moment. Celia, you're going to room four. Faith, you are going to go to room five. And Robin, you are going to go to two. Have fun. <laughs> sure. I haven't had time to listen to podcasts. Do you guys know any of these? Do you guys know any of this stuff? Faith said she knows a few. I think I know a few. Yeah, I'm going to make a wild guess. Number one is about a hundred. 
hundred million, like just sort of somewhere around the population of Japan. Well, it's plus or minus how many? Ten, oh, oh, twenty percent. Uh huh. Well, I don't think it makes sense that you have one for every person. I think Japan has one for every person. That that that, that would not be uh, financially viable because how many uh -huh. persons? Well, can buy okay. Well, well, if 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 everybody buys item A from a pen of A B yeah. C D E F G etc. from it from vending machines. Uh, you know is, it, is it possible they have fewer? Well, like most of their, I, I have never been in Japan. If a lot of their stores and shops, you are essentially vending, like you're, you're. It's not like a Coke machine or something like that. It's right. Like vending where you you, actually you're buying, and you buy the product out of a machine. You're buying everything from like, you use a vending machine to buy. Yeah. Okay. Um, three. Okay. I think it's because they're changing out their currency. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So the mechanism, the weight of the coins and everything won't work. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very good. And four, uh, a thousand yen is about $6.30. Well, that's good to know. And then I don't know anything until we get to number nine. <laughs> Well, I saw something about the, you know, all the flowers and everything, but I don't remember anything about it. There was, I, if they would have asked me how many flowers, I could tell you it was in the tens of thousands, but that's not the question. It was like 30 or 40,000. Um, Maybe uh, where well, you could get free champagne, coffee, cake, something like that. And, um, uh, oh, wait, we're not, I'm sorry. I have the wrong ones. Uh, let me oh, slide number six. Let me slide down. I'm sorry. I have the wrong question displayed. Yeah, number six. That's more with the hundred thousand flowers for oh, the yeah. anniversary. Oh, oh yeah. So I would have got that wrong because I would have said thirty or forty thousand. Okay. What receive free what from these independent business? Uh oh. Uh oh, we gotta be over ourselves. Susan, are you gonna <laughs> tell us all the answers? <laughs> No, she's we not hate, even going to show it. We hate you face. already, Susan. Just say it. <laughs> um, the <laughs> currency conversion rate. Yeah, I'm sorry, so... but the U.S. dollar is not worth double the Canadian. Well, I, mean, I remember when is... the Canadian dollar was worth more than the U.S. dollar. Right? Yeah. Um, oh, but I don't remember that. It didn't I, last I, I long, but I've it did heard happen. heard that, that ramen was like a buck fifty. Well, I think like a thousand yen is about five bucks American. Yeah, it's okay. somewhere in there, five, six bucks. I think it's closer to six. Okay. Okay. Like, because a thousand bucks or a thousand yen sounds like so expensive, but right, it's like yeah, it's not. So a thousand yen, yeah, yen is like six dollars. Okay. I think it's somewhere around there. Okay, yeah. we can go with six bucks because you know it's American. Mark and I, I only know for Canadian. <laughs> right. <laughs> Try going to Argentina. No. Uh, <laughs> the thousand, a thousand, yeah. whatever they are, is a dollar. So your thousand right? dollar. Well, it's like many years Mexico. ago going to Italy and dealing with lira. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I remember being in Italy in the 70s and they would give you like pieces of gum and stuff instead of change because they didn't have any change. Oh, no. <laughs> Subway tokens, <laughs> gum, pieces of candy. <laughs> that was your change. Oh, oh my gosh. So question five, I, I, they're obviously talking about loneliness. Yeah. Is this something at the MoMA? An exhibit well, of blank what? walls at the MoMA, the Modern Art Museum. No, I think oh, it's maybe. loneliness. Oh, oh, the statement as, is about as Kat what? said. Okay. Dollars and fifty cents. Five dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, for I'll buy anything like you say. Because that's between five and six, and that's my guess. That's very cheap ramen, though. Too. Don't forget, she doesn't tell you how much ramen. Is that one well, serve? I've been to Tokyo and ate ramen a bunch of places. It's a meal. It's a big bowl when you get it there. 
I would say at least ten. Ten dollars. Okay. Go ahead. Ten dollars. Yeah, I think it's more than that. Tomorrow I'm going to see my nephew who's in Japan that just came home and my new grandniece. My son I, is in Korea and he has vending machines near his apartment. He said they had a whole room, just nothing but ice cream. Mm -hmm. And everything was a, a, like American equivalent of like 35, 40 cents. And the room was freezing? Yeah. No, it was like Oh, the um, machines coolers. Just kept they were all coolers, oh, okay. oh. and it was the it was an honor system. You put your money in a slot. It didn't. And you opened up the door and took out. But they were they did have cameras in the place. Wow, oh my God, that'd be a problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> my dear friend of mine, cream. who is not a creative or enthusiastic eater, her she was she's an engineer at Ford, for Ford, and she was sent to Japan. And the hotel, she all the food she couldn't eat. She just couldn't handle the Japanese food. And in the in the hotel, they had an American breakfast. So she said, "Good, I want the American breakfast." And what their definition of an American breakfast was: ham, scrambled eggs, and a green salad. <laughs> close, close. You could get that for lunch too, though. Green eggs and ham. You could get it for lunch, breakfast, and lunch at the same time. <laughs> Okay, what about a, five? I have a guess here. Good. So I think it might be about art. Like that someone art. would say, here's a blank canvas. That's my work of art. Pay me a million dollars. Okay, so you're saying about art is the answer? Yeah. Yeah, like maybe an art installation that was speaking to the pandemic or... Um, how people aren't connecting. Well, they certainly are willing to spend a lot of money on art and they were willing to spend an awful lot of money on. The, uh, the connection is missing. What is the blank wall? Whatever, the con there has to be a missing connection that's, that's related to a that, blank that's, wall. It's a blue screen of death for uh, version. Yeah. It, uh, with when Windows goes belly up, you get a blue screen. Uh, yeah. and I, I know that the number of uh, browsers that when they are sent to a non-existent uh, URL or their the connection be uh, with the network is down, they get a. a blank screen right but it's called a blank screen not a blank wall mm -hmm. nobody refers to the computer screen as a wall it also yeah. says may also uh, feel I agree. I still think it's, it's some sort of an art. i think it's a literal blank wall somewhere yep. I Either that's in an art gallery or um <clears throat> or a, a new building or something that was going to be painted but was left blank or something like that and so that somebody was making some statement about that, trying to make some sort of philosophical statement of oh, a blank wall is significant, you know, signifies our lack yeah. of connection, blah, blah, blah. I've just never heard of a person referring to a computer screen as a wall. Unless it may be the firewall or something like that. Yeah. Not a blank wall. That's just my opinion. And especially it's New York Times. Very yes, artsy. exactly. Very artsy. Yeah. And yep. they would have yep. some some gallery would have I could just see a New York gallery not putting art on the wall or one leaving purposely leaving one wall blank and the rest has art on it and it's supposed to be some great statement. Okay, well we'll go with that for now, and you can laugh at us later, Bill, if you find out we're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is New York. I remember where they had a symphony. Where for 10 play. minutes, nobody played. That was John Cage, yeah. And the whole thing was listening to the audience clear their throats and sneeze and cough. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's very, that's very Only in New York would they, somebody find that entertaining. Yep. Um, I was driving along Interstate 5 up in Northern California 
listening to a local uh, college. Uh, Tampons, I'm about to target. Let's, let's, why not? Let's put tampons. Target shoplifter. That or diapers or something. Diapers. It, but imagine tampons would be easier to shoplift than diapers. Diapers yes. are big. And they're, I they think, can be pretty expensive too. Boxes. 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 Yeah. Diapers or tampons? Well, you got to use I, a tampon. I like the idea box. that tampons are easier to shoplift. Yeah. Yeah, and you're gonna have to use them longer than you would have to use diapers, <laughs> unless she was selling them. Ooh, black they market come in boxes anymore? Black market tampons. Do they come <laughs> in boxes anymore? Yeah, yeah. I, I I I know one of the most valuable things you can shoplift from your average grocery store in terms of value to the amount of space it takes up is like uh, razor replacement razor blades. Now, yeah, they're now, all. Carl, they're all how do you know that? <laughs> yeah, because they're all behind glass. Because at my, at my grocery store, all the replacement razor blades are behind a little door that sounds a little alarm every time yeah. you open them up. Right, they're behind batteries. Glasses. I would oh, think batteries, batteries too. Oh, batteries would be good. Well, over here in LA, some of the grocery stores have all their, their over the counter medicines behind plastic doors, and you have to get a, a cart to come open them up. <gasps> what about condoms? Box? Do they, come in boxes? Yeah. they come in boxes still? <laughs> I haven't, well, this woman I haven't purchased I any it. for a while. <laughs> Want to say condoms or tampons? Tampons. Tampons. Okay. Okay. I think that's everything. So we have an answer for everything, regardless of degree of confidence in any of them. One, yeah. I'm sure of. I'm sure of. Uh, what about Queen Elizabeth? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we've probably got at least four or five points. At I least. just wonder. I do wonder about the monolith, though, because that did make the news. Okay, would they call it a wall and not a side? I don't. I don't. I, I wouldn't refer to anything I've seen picture wise of the monoliths as wall. And oh. and okay. did that? Didn't that just happen in the last few days? This is on the seventh. I don't. Oh want yeah, to, it's more recent than the seventh. I don't oh, want to talk okay. us out of it. Okay, you're that right. Could be. No, that's oh, a good right. point. A monolith as a bike wall. Oh, do you, Cindy? Do you know what she's talking about about the monolith? No. But I don't think a monolith is going to be a wall. Yeah, 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 no, but it's, it's just have, one item. Yeah, we have our answers. Do you want to tell her what the, the thing was, Carolyn? Oh, they they found another monolith in, in the middle of the desert somewhere again. But why was I mean what happened? Why so years a couple of years ago, these monoliths appeared in on public yeah. land. Yeah. And everyone was, you know, trying to figure out what they were about, and then they were taken away. Yeah, at some point. So now someone has placed them again. Yeah. I'm not saying it's aliens, but no. <laughs> well, no. Sounds like somebody's trying to imitate the 2001 film, but the beginning of it was with the yeah. monolith show up. Um, and, and human um, beings are still eight men, you see. And the monoliths show up because the monoliths show up the A-man learned how to use tools and weapons. And they use them. How about just fake? Yeah. And they, they're they like, the relatives are like, don't be a douchebag, Robin. She's just having fun. And I think I say that, that like, they're having fun. Like the psychics, I think this is a snake in the grass. And we're going to find out it's being used for scamming. Of course it all is. All of these stupid AI pictures. Um, I think they're sorting the gullible from the not so gullible. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they already know who the gullibles are. So, so that's are you guys all not done? Use, that's not well, useful. Caspian and Jamie just joined us. So we haven't talked over our answers with them yet. With them. But we're done. You, how confident do you feel about your answers that you've no, Not at all. Except no, for no, 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 on a scale of one to ten zero 
<laughs> we think we have a one. Categories. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go check out the other rooms. Let him know. Let them know because the they might they might have some answers. Oh yeah. Give them the, did you already give them the questions? Because I can give them to them if you don't oh. have them. No, we didn't give them the questions. They, we they just got. They just got here. I know. We here. know we nothing. Were chattering about nothing. It's the categories <laughs> called according to the New York Times, and I will give you the questions here. Thank you, Susan. Um, because you guys, I'm coming in here, and you guys are just chatting away. I'm like, Whoa. I know. Okay. So, what is the main flower in the bouquet behind you? Oh, uh, it's um carrots. The carrots went to. Oh, see is that carrot carrot flowers? Yeah, now I just put them in here and it looks like they're giving me, oh no, okay, so that fourth one is in there twice. Okay, so I don't know why they did that, but whatever. you can't see it, you guys. So these are questions from the New York Times uh, on June, what day did I say? Seven. 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 They weren't questions in the New York Times, they were stories in the New York Times. Okay, I will give you a little bit longer, but. I'm just a smidge. I'm gonna go just so they can look at the things and see. And tell us how wrong we are. Tell us what, what yeah. Let's see. Is someone doing it or do you want me to do it? No, I've already given Susan's them to Susan's doing it. She's okay. private messaging them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's why we can't see them. I housed her and it's kind of un, it's coming apart. And of course she was so sweet about it. It's yeah. all gone. I've eaten it's it. Good. And, um, <laughs> really and you good. spoke. You soak the slices in a little honey water so they don't turn brown. But anyway, I it give it to her. It's long enough to turn brown. By the time I get it to her house, it's already starting to kind of open. And I'm like, God, my practice ones were better. And then it's like, is it even four or is this five? Maybe it's the wrong thing. <laughs> so <laughs> was it uh, a raw apple or did you bake the apple? No, it was a raw apple. So apple. are you guys done with your questions? You got are. answers? We are. Yeah. How confident are you? Not. We think we are getting five. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> be interesting. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit longer because Caspian and Jamie just got in and the team I put them on don't think they had any right. So okay. <laughs> we're going to let Cass run them over. So the apple is, it's a red apple, but not red delicious. It's called Envy. But they had the actual instructions left, right, so many times. And I looked at videos on YouTube. You turn it left four times, zero, pass one direction to zero it out. Then you start going the other way and counting the numbers. I can't figure the damn thing out. I can't open it. it maybe it's just I've done it, and it's just a little, like, rusted or something, and it won't click. So I might have the combination. It just won't budge. Mm -hmm. it's driving me nuts. As a kid, I used to try and open it. And then recently, since we got to sell the house, we've been trying, every time we go over there, we try it for five or 10 minutes, you know? We're done. I say so insufficient. How done are you guys? We've I'm trying to figure out how to word something if y'all stop interrupting. We, we, have, we, have, we have nine wild guesses and we're working on our 10th wild guess, Susan. Thank you very much. for. I would, oh. I would say uh -huh. that having, have some, say something to the effect of having insufficient disposable income or limited disposable income. All right, sounds good. Oh, oh uh, by the way, uh, Susan, with the I one about, I think it's number ten, the the uh, tallest structure. You're talking about a building or some sort of structure building. or what? Building. So, so building implies people in it, as opposed yes. to a tower. That's correct. Yes. Okay. It is not a like a monument or a. No, like a radio building tower. that you could go and buy a apartment for okay okay you could put it you could put a japanese vending machine in you could okay, put, so, you could right. put a bunch of every vending floor machine in. yeah uh okay so we okay so we don't have anything for nine and we don't have anything for no five. we did have something no we have everything for everything yeah okay yeah. okay nine, it, nine we are liquidating his ass yes so for, uh, for he's getting for the ten, circuit city treatment for for 10 then i want to change it to new york because there's been a lot of skyscrapers built with very narrow for apartments. What about I think it's something like Dallas? If we are yeah, still... I think it, I think it's somewhere like further in that has the real estate and the space. So there are new buildings that were just put up in the last like five or six years in Manhattan that are pencil thin and they look bizarre that you could build a structure that high. Yeah. And the le the one that's built now is like going for a million dollars on an apartment. You have the whole floor because it's not very big. 
but they're as tall as the you know freedom tower and there might be one that's going to be built built bigger is my my feeling at this point now yes it could be somewhere else but there is already one in manhattan like that that they're widely advertising i think it's okay so you want to put new york instead of texas for 10. Uh, i think i'm being you want, Rob. i think i'm being a to legos yeah, me too. And number 10 is uh, Oklahoma City. Oh. You cool I, with all I those? Actually, I actually seem to remember that one. It might even all be right. correct. Was Caspian and Jamie it. able to help you guys? Oh, yeah. Tremendously. <laughs> what are you up We're to? We're going to get a 10 now. It will be reflected gonna... in our score. Does Caspian and Jamie read the New York Times? We didn't no. ask them. No, not really. <laughs> Okay, but he's just informed. They're just informed. Uh, okay, so I think we're getting close. I I gave you guys were the ones I gave a little more time because I knew we just added Caspian and Jamie. So um I'm gonna close the rooms because we are two good to go. Just we are done. Um okay. the team which team is it? One of the teams, uh team five said I asked them how they're doing. They said we have nine wild guests guesses and we're about to come up with our 10th wild guess <laughs> <laughs> well we made educated yeah, guesses hard, so I hope, I hope these are harder questions that's my job <laughs> obscure i don't know about hard <laughs> well, not obscure if you're using every time. well like, it's almost yeah. as as um, they might be obscure as what has he got in his pockets exactly <laughs> well you know it's not a rhinoceros i mean they're they're well, that, yeah. something that fits unless it's a baby rhinoceros or what if it's a photo <laughs> of a rhinoceros or it's very well, I don't, far away i don't think that the uh legends tower is being built on the back of a, of a rhinoceros oh just turtles though turtles all the way down turtles yeah. all the way down exactly turtles turtles all the way down yeah and we're talking milk does we're talking turtles <laughs> guys are making me hungry I'm getting some wonderful questions. I mean, I love listening to guys as reasoning things out. So much more fun to be on this end than to be on your guys' end going, oh. Especially when the questions are as bizarre as this. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I'm just thrilled that Susan finally taught me what a milk dud was. So, Oh, boy, yeah, that's really up there in your list of 2024 highlights, you, right? You did it you is, know. Actually, <laughs> we don't have them here. And so... No, I've never it's, had one. It's because you know the Canadians are perfect. Have you seen the Have you seen the commercials some, uh, that Maynard just shared about Canadians being so nice and Bill Shatner, William no. Shatner's yelling "f you" at the it's a commercial for uh, no. It's a commercial <laughs> it's a sad for, day for um, Canada because Donald Sutherland died today. Okay, Susan, that was hard. I hope you had fun with that. I'm going to share a video. Wow, look at all I'm these not going people. To show you the video, but here's a link to a video that was just shared on my Facebook feed. I watched it right before I got here. It's a message to Canada from William Shatner, and it's it's like two minutes long. You might want to check it out. It's pretty cute. But Maynard from the Skeptic Zone shared it on my Facebook page, and I said, "Oh, that's great. That's great. I don't know what he's talking about, but it's great. Open net salmon farming. Anyway." I oh, happy, that. happy upcoming Canada Day. Yep. Okay, so we have so some interesting question you. answers that you guys gave me. I will I will probably have to ask you what you said, and I will may have to because I didn't really, you know, these are questions I made up and and so on. I might have to judgment calls. Yeah, they may have to have some judgment calls. It depends on what you're I mean, I heard Salia going and talking in depth about what she meant. So maybe that will sway me because nobody got it right but i i think maybe, maybe it less wrong close i don't know you're saying that my prediction of punch and judy scores might be right huh well we'll see okay so question number one this is about the economy relying on vending machines the answer is 4.1 million oh wow so somebody has to do the math on if what the twenty percent is on that plus or minus because I didn't do it. So oh, we accidentally transposed our numbers. Oh, right. to what, from one point four. It's <laughs> three point two million to four point eight million. Oh man, we oh, said five. Oh, oh we had five. We said five. Come on. Yeah. 
We four missed it by four. that much. That much. We only it's said a really four. Interesting article because you know me. I love social history, and I I really enjoy the reasons behind why things are the way they are. So it's a fascinating article about vending machines in Japan, and they're very upset um, because. Um, so why are they common? Why are they common? Why are they common? It's because they are their workforce is shrink shrinking, and they do not oh. have. Uh, cashiers and servers because their population's decreasing. I think and we're taking that's that. Why one. they have to use vending machines? There's not enough employees to be able to be at a register or handle cash. Be work and retail. We so when you say convenient for the digital that... economy, is that yeah. kind so it's of labor? It's not economy. It's it's well, it's it's the well, it is the economy if you don't have enough workers. Yeah. No, I'm looking no. for workers. Yeah, but it's not based on the price of things. Yeah, it's, it's, it's based yeah, on the lack of work is. Yeah, the comedy is more like price and. Mm -hmm. So well, it came up in our conversation. So yeah. I'm looking for an answer <laughs> yeah. that is, um, that they their population shrinking. They just don't have people to work, and as a cashier or whatever. So the appropriate uh, phrasing is what we put, I believe, which was cater to the work culture in Japan. Nope. <laughs> nope. What do you mean? No, okay. that's exactly well, right. No, nope, there's not nope. enough people to do that. Zip. That's not right. That's how you interpret that. <laughs> that's not that's what those words are getting right. To try and steal okay. the point. Your Question three. Can we put the on. cost Question of three. labor? Nope. Can we get that? Nope. No, it's because the population shrinking. Well, you know what? Because the, if the if they pay them more, they if would they suddenly have more, laborers. They would have yeah, exactly. Maybe, but there's there's only so much you can do when you have very few people. Now they, they have all those really old people there because they, they need to get so the long. very old people. And they paid working. them like they they paid them like four thousand yen an hour to work. They probably that's do very, it. That's very very uh, U.S. American capitalist of you. Yeah, that's I fair. know. To assume, allow, to assume that <laughs> they, if they allow <laughs> immigrants to come in, maybe they would be able to. Or a oh yeah, no, we can't right? have that. They don't they have a border have with Mexico. Yeah. So okay. yeah. Because and everything I've heard about Japan is that they'd never allow immigration. Yeah, it's, it's hard to immigrate to Japan. Okay, question three, according to why are they all upset? And I heard somebody get this answer correct. And the answer is because every 20 years or so, the government to avoid counterfeiter, fit, counterfeiters will change its currency and the machines will not accept the new whatever <laughs> currency they're going to have. Hey, Susan, when, when you're looking we at We said article, that and then we, that, just, then we didn't write it down. We, we moved on. <laughs> did, did they, they, did they, <clears throat> Thank you. Do Kat. their vending machines take cards, plastic? Um. Yeah, they, they, they use they use cell phones. Yeah, yeah I think or you do. Cell phones, so, yeah. so they're probably. I think they're talking about. Um, I think that might have been the article, but I think it still was devastating because most people still really do use some sort of. Yeah. Most yeah. things yeah. have yeah. both. Most most would have the the currency and. I'm sure they probably do. Yeah, I was, I was just thinking. thinking was was kind of guessing policy. they were going cashless. Isn't that funny? So that the yeah. the currency wouldn't matter with everything. Wouldn't matter. Yeah, yeah. But that's what's going on. So the currency's huh. changing, and they are pissed because it's very expensive to get one of these machines, and the machines can't be adapted. It's going to have to be a new machine kind of thing. So there's going to be a whole market out there for anybody who wants 4.1 million. Uh, vending machines oh, that old vending machines that take that sell old yen. and the new <laughs> ones should <laughs> probably go cashless. Yeah, yeah they can't just you have a Wi-Fi to no. accept payment. Susan, uh, if they change their currency every twenty years, that's rather short-sighted because in vending machines, the mechanism, like there's opening on the front, but all the mechanism is inside, and that would be very simple to change out. Well, they're pretty thick, so. They were talking, they did lots of interviews with people. Well, it's a lot of work. Like, it's going to cost they don't have the workforce. Meters. We already went over that. Yeah, oh. over <laughs> right, babe. Okay, so according to the New York Times, most <laughs> ramen prices are set at about a thousand yen. So, how much would a thousand yen be in American dollars? And it is six and a half, five, six dollars fifty cents. So, if you guess between five eighty five and seven fifteen, you should be. <sighs> Can we find a little one. bit more yes, generous course. and go down 10 more cents, please? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry. I didn't put the answers in. I guess I should put the number in front of these. Hold on. I just didn't have it. Okay. Now this one, I'm going to have to ask you guys what you guys did because 
I'm really don't like the way it's worded because nobody got it because obviously nobody's looking at that. So let me ask you guys one at a time. So team one, Louisiana's new state motto, theocracy for all. What did you put for question five? It's, it's, art. About, a, it's about a piece of art. It's about an art piece. An art, yeah. Okay, how about let's go Oilers? We thought it was about loneliness, possibly inspired by an art gallery, like something at MoMA. Okay. Iron Dome over Mar-a-Lago. We said about art also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Willie Mays and Donald Sutherland, what did you say? A literal blank wall at a gallery. Also art. Art. <laughs> also okay. art. Is, is it about or a boot? It was Faith's idea. I'll let her give it. Blame Faith. People not being able, people having um, less disposable income that they can't even afford to put things on their walls in their homes. In their homes. Okay. So also about art. That's None okay. of you had the correct answer, but I'm going to give it to anybody who said it's an art installation. <laughs> not at your home. My home is an art installation. I'm sorry, because it's not. <laughs> there was blank walls in your home. So what's about the answer, art. Susan? The answer is... It was a San Francisco Jewish museum. Does that make it a little more relative? To, does it make was it about the Holocaust? Nope. So what happened is they had a bunch of artists that pulled their art off the walls. They wouldn't allow them to be shown there because of disagreements with the museum, because the Palestinian and Israeli discussion, you know, that's going on. So the artist issued demands that the museum divest from companies and do business and that do business uh, with Israel. And so they're boycotting Israel. So they pulled, they wouldn't allow their art in the in the museum. So the museum decided to leave the walls blank and put the sign up and with had that at a time when many need connection more than ever, the blank walls speak to a moment when connection may also feel insignificant or impossible. It's very, very interesting um free speech or or like a stifling speech how horrible of them well they pulled themselves out no the artist chose to boycott yeah, the artist pulled themselves out oh the artist chose yeah to. the artist My said apology. we do not want our art shown in a jewish museum because Wait. of this reason okay so okay i go back to horrible then again <laughs> no. so they decided to to because they were making demands on the the museum and the museum said just pull your art because we're not going to Oh, we're not gonna we're not going to conform to what you're asking. Right. Oh, okay. Okay, then so that's the answer. So if good. you said art installation, yeah. go for it. But if it's this, come on. but if it's about loneliness or your house or whatever, no, sorry. I don't like your questions. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. bad. You're so 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 very rusty at this. Let season. me show you the William Shatner uh video and, and and we'll just change it to okay. So number six, this is really interesting. This do Duke and Duchess got married and they're um it, it's a it looks lovely. I mean, you know, of course these people are people of privilege and so on, but they paid they're for all these really, flowers. Really, really rich. Yeah, they paid for all these flowers. And um, but you gotta remember these kind of people live in fishbowl worlds. So I don't know if I would go for that <laughs> where every little thing you say and do is uh um it could be in the press and your phone's tapped. Okay, so what it was they paid for was ice cream. Oh, yeah. oh, Free ice cream. ice cream. Ice cream. I told you guys it was ice cream. Because yeah, and you know why I thought it was ice cream? Because it's June and it's England and it's not warm there very often or very much. So so it's just very nice. They had people. Apologies, flowers. Robin. So all this discussion about flowers was totally irrelevant. Oh, but you might want to check out the Summer Flower Project, which was really interesting. I looked at the website and all the fun stuff that they do. They really do decorate the towns and stuff. So we thought flowers. it had to be flowers or bulbs or seeds mm -hmm. or something related to flowers or bouquets. Ice cream. Or... Ice cream. Ice so ice. question seven, I think you guys, some of you got it right. Let me see. Can I get from you guys what it was that um, who you what, who you picked? Louisiana's new state motto. What did you say? Kara said she she was a standing up for Queen Elizabeth. Okay, how about the Oilers? Same. Yep. Same. Uh, Iron Dome over Mar-a-Lago. Oh, we said we said Betty Davis. Okay, and <laughs> Willie Mays and Donna Sutherland. Queen Lizzie. 
and about her a boot. Queen, Queen Lizzie. Elizabeth. Queen yeah, Liz the second. Queen Elizabeth. The second. Elizabeth de Dos. Yeah, and she, they were the same age. They both, um, she says she would have been, well, it says she would have been 96 this year. And I guess that was the age that um, Queen Elizabeth died. And I went and looked at some of her, you know, past photos and stuff. And she, she really did look like Queen Elizabeth. So what yeah. movies was she doubling in? Oh, a ton of movies. Uh, I think she was in Airplane. I think she was in... Um, oh, that's right. I've heard the Queen Elizabeth on that. Yeah. She's been a lot of stuff. This woman's been in tons of movies over the years. She was being tackled, I think, in... Did Airplane. she skydive yeah. at the Olympics? I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if somebody skydived at the Olympics and then they... Yeah, they did. Well, she, well, well, well appar did. apparently Queen Liz did sort of play her play herself on the way to the skydiving. Those, though... Though, though, though you couldn't actually see uh, who was actually doing the skydiving. Yeah. So. so you, you, so check her out. If it's, it's yeah, kind of cool, you know. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Okay, Queen no, Liz was born. Eight. Queen Liz was born two days after my mom. <laughs> oh, okay. So question eight. I got some really interesting answers I heard from you guys, but I'm sure nobody got the correct answer, which was Legos. Legos. Oh, no. somebody did. Ron, did you get Faith it? Knew yeah. I, we Faith. got it. Right. Did. I didn't. We knew. Only because I, Lee knew it. He had heard the story. Lee, yeah. you, you are you a New York Times reader? Actually, I think I heard it on NPR. Oh, yeah. yeah I heard the no. I heard the answer for number ten on, on the radio. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes. it was you, I assumed it was Milk Duds. <laughs> I don't think the market for selling milk duds is that high considering she just hasn't got dollars. caught yet. And they make yeah, a lot Susan of Susan hasn't got caught yet. So she's Lego. probably got a room full of milk duds and she hasn't mm -hmm. got caught. Okay, well, so you know, as one who works with children, I have to say Legos are super, super cool. Yeah, so I was are, kind of hoping that she was stealing them to, you know, take to I, schools yeah. or or, oh, or yeah. I'm sure that's what you no. do with them. Just give them away. Okay, so yeah. the next one is they wanted to, uh, about uh, Alex Jones. So here's what I'm kind of looking for. Hopefully if you got really close, you can you can decide on your own. They they couldn't get the money from him, but they're trying to get him shut down, like to, for him to stop speaking and doing his stuff. So they're trying to close the business InfoWars and possibly close the social media accounts. So if you came up with anything close to that, go ahead and take it. Okay, we'll take it. Okay. Was there any mention of liquidating his assets, like having to sell uh, his assets? Company. No, that, that is exactly what it was. They, they wanted to close his liquidate. business. Right. So, they want to liquidate his company. Liquidate yeah. his company, but not liquidate his assets like his and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. company. Yeah. company is his asset. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're, they're liquidating. They're not allowing house. him to. Yeah, because bankruptcy, you can protect a lot of things. He's being forced to liquidate. Right. Well, it's not like he's selling his house or his cat. Well, or his no, dog. liquidating he's selling the company. His... They're trying to get literally the, the title of the article. Company did. Literally, the title of the article on the New York Times is Alex Jones seeks to liquidate his assets to pay damages to Sandy Hook family. <laughs> but not on that day. Uh, not June seventh. June seventh. This is when the article was published. June seventh. Okay. What it? What is the question? It says. According to the New York Times, families of the Sandy Hook victims are trying to do what? The family is trying to do what? Get him to look the the fact is, Susan, there are two groups of families, and they are each trying to do different things. I know. The ones in Texas are trying to do a different, uh, have a different approach than the ones from Connecticut. So it, it the, the, okay, so the you question guys figure is it out if you got that point or not. Okay. The last one, um, I know, I think Leonard got this correct. It is Oklahoma. Oh, wow. And the height, of the, the height of the building is 1,907. And that corresponds. Inches? To, yeah. <laughs> that court, boxes of Legos. Uh, Lego. Uh, no, no, that's the year that Oklahoma. The year oh, that Oklahoma was admitted to the Union. Oh. So 1907. If you ever want to know what, what year. Hmm. Did you put a plus or minus on that? Because we missed by one state. Nope. <laughs> no plus or minus you, is our state. You you uh you guessed Arkansas. 
That's a good try, Ron. Texas. Uh, Ohio. On the other side. Somebody please talk to your state leaders and get a bigger building. Oklahoma cannot have that distinction. Please. Well, what is I'm California? I'm fine with them many... having that distinction. Uh, no, Leonard. No. no, no uh, Aaron had that's going to be before. solved when a hurricane comes through and takes it down. Yeah, yeah it's stupid. Or, or a tornado. Oklahoma oh, hurricane? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so here's <laughs> I'm asking. Does somebody want to be our Kansas instead of their Kansas? We know we okay, scores. Funny <laughs> joke. The scores are um, everybody got Indiana's a chance. new state motto, theocracy for all. What'd you get? Six. Okay. I'm looking for a five, is what I'm looking for. <laughs> or Let's less. go, Oilers. We had a five. Okay. Uh, Iron <laughs> Dome over Mar a Lago. Three. Good. Got a little freak the average down. You want that new playoff? Uh, Willie Mays and Donald Sutherland. Who's next? Six. And is it about or a boot? I only counted three out of that. <laughs> Uh, I guess three, else? unless uh, unless somebody else in the in our group uh, saw one that's. I thought you had four. Oh, oh, which? Okay, so I got seven, eight, and nine is correct. Which, what, what, what's the fourth one? That's. I wasn't on your team. I just want you to have four, so we have the low score. <laughs> <laughs> we, we only got three because this is the worst category. This is lighthouses. No, it was not. We averaged 4.6. So good job. Okay, we're going to move on to something completely different. So good. different. But it's also something that's been in the news quite a bit. But I think everyone here hopefully has been touched by this amazing um, phenomena. Wheel of Fortune. Not uh, Jeopardy? <laughs> hey, I might know something. Okay, here we go. Question number one. What year did Pat Sajak begin anchoring the show? Oh, a long time ago. Plus or minus Back a century. Yeah. Yeah. Don't give us any hints. <laughs> I thought it was last year. <laughs> Question number two. How old is Pat Sajak? No spoilers. <laughs> no plus or minus. We need it to the month. The oh, second. I got some bad spelling in here. Let me see. No. Oh, I know. Okay. Who was the original host of the show? That's question three. We've had that question before. Yep. Well, then you guys should get it. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you remember the question, but not the answer. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Question four <laughs> Who will take over from Say Jack when the show returns in September? Question five. What is the price of a vowel? Ooh. And I want you to know it has never changed. Oh, good. Now I know. <laughs> Little hint there. Okay. Question six. The first ever puzzle was the title General Hospital. What was the letter that was the first she ever turned? <laughs> <laughs> It's one of the letters in General Hospital. That's your hint. If you read the New York Times article about this, you would know the answer. All right. So question seven. Be before becoming the letter turner, Vanna White appeared as a contestant on what other popular game show wearing a t-shirt that said, get serious. So she was on a game show. I you saw will it. Have you will probably have heard of this game show. It's not something super obscure. Okay, number eight is a multiple choice. And, um, oops, that's number nine. Okay, here's number nine. I just gave you number nine. 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, or 70,000 number of puzzles have appeared on the show. Pick a number, any pick a number or any number. And number eight is very similar. It's 3.8, 4.8, 5.8, 6.8, 7.8, 9, 8.8, 9.8, 10.8, 11.8, 12.8, 13.8, 14.8, 15.8, 16.8, 17.8, 18.8, 19.8, 20.8, 21.8, 22.
idea. Number of different outfits Vanna has worn in the show. And guess what? Wendy's here. So she'll know these. No, wait, wait, wait. Nobody say anything. No. Nope. I want silence. I'm going to ask her. Wendy, as soon as she gets here. Because she's got to choose between two teams. So it is, is the eighth one nine and the ninth one eight? No, nine is nine and eight is eight. They're just listed out of order. Yeah. Wendy, okay. you here? They're gonna yeah. they're fighting. I'm sorry, over I'm you. so late. No, no, they're gonna fight over you right now. <laughs> okay, so Wendy, don't yes. read any of your messages. Nobody better have written to you. I'm gonna change my team name to We Want Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to tell me which team Good. you want to be on. Is it is it about or a boot or Iron Dome over Mar-a-Lago. Iron Dome. Okay, Wendy's on that. Yes. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> you might be sorry. I'm toast. Hey, you'll choose your team. Your name's Wiser. Your new apartment, and I'm just like so tired. Well, you're like this category. You're in your new apartment already? Yeah. Wendy, I mean, it's, your, it's less than the... a year. I think it's the, it's a sickness. Here, Wendy. But it's a really cute apartment. Of course, okay. Wendy. Here's your here's the questions. The category is Wheel of Fortune. And you know Wheel of Fortune, right? I remember Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so okay, so here comes the last two questions, you guys. Or the last question. No, last question. Okay, this one's the last question. Are you guys paying attention? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell you it. So I'm going to read it for you before I put it in here. The incorrect phrase was buzzed in by a contestant. <laughs> The video of the mishap has been viewed over a million times. So I'm going to give you the the spaces and everything. And you have to tell me what it was that was there. Okay. So this, in other words, somebody, and I watch this video. It's quite funny. Um, the incorrect phrase was buzzed in. And here is what the phrase looks like. So it is, it's. Write this down, you guys. It might be easier for you. It's space, 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 space. How many? Four. Four spaces. The next word is I, space. The next one is T, space, E. T as in Peter? T, space, E. T as in Tony. <laughs> And then the last word is B is in boy, A space T exclamation point. And the last letter again is P is in Peter or T is in Thomas? T is in toenails. And there's four toenails. letters in the last word. Okay, so. How many words are there? There's four words. And there's oh, four boy. letters in the last oh, four, four. Okay, yeah. now. Keep in mind what the question says, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody buzzed in. Now, sometimes people buzz in and they're not necessarily exact with the answer. So, Susan, are you sure about your spaces and stuff that you yes. and, and words there? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm a thousand percent sure. Okay. So are you are you looking for what he buzzed in or are you looking for the correct answer? The, the what what he said. Wrong answer. The wrong answer. Okay. And did right. you mean did you put in nine and eight in reverse order? Yes. Yeah. So keep in mind on question 10 that just because you see a space there does not mean that is the amount of letters that the answer of this contestant gave. Does that make sense? Yeah. No. yeah. They perfectly, may have said perfectly something Perfectly understandable. Was, perfectly okay. understandable. All I'm saying is that is what he saw on the board and he buzzed in and said something else. So uh, we'll okay. see who gets it. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. Let's go to your rooms. Oh, I'm in charge of that. <laughs> let me give wendy to the team that Room gets three. wendy team three 
I'm really looking forward to watching you guys answer these. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know that I ever actually saw this show more than two minutes at a time. <laughs> yeah, I don't well, didn't watch I, it religiously. I, I've seen it, but not for many, many, many years. Like it seems right. like it's been decades ago. So it it seems like he it was a long long time ago when he started i, I have no idea when 1981 i think sounds good yeah i'm just trying to remember because that's when i moved to the u.s and i'm trying to remember if i ever watched it in canada because i've only isn't that horrible what what else what was he known for well now he's known lots for of game shows a, a, say again Lots of game shows. Yeah, but now he's also known for being a rather crabby, conserv ultra conservative person. Oh, really? Yeah. I can't remember what show I I watched, but it was like in the eighties or nineties. I can't remember. Um, the 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 what was that? Not win, lose, or draw. Hey, I, I never mind. Okay. Yeah, we don't know. The uh, Waco thing. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Who will take over? I remember at before. Yeah, without without plus or minus, this is uh this is very hard. It's a crap shoot. You want to put thirty four? That would make him seventy eight today. Yeah, it's sure. Well, I thought seventy one. You thought seventy two. How old do you think? He is Leonard. I think he's like 76, 77. Yeah. Okay. That would make it 32. What's your vote, Deborah? I I don't I never watch that show. No, but you know who he is. Neither do I. No, I, I know the name. I couldn't pick him out of a crowd, probably. Caspian? Jamie. You're muted. I don't think we have any strong opinion we're so gonna lose <laughs> that will be nothing new for me <laughs> right <laughs> well what do we what put number we put under on how old he is let's put 34 so that makes well, it's not what, how 70? old was he when he started the show it's how old is he now right oh i'm sorry yeah how old is he now okay 30, 78 78 okay. oh i'm sorry Leonard thought 76. Yeah, 76. 76 or 77, I'm not sure. If we're gonna if if uh, we're going between my guess and, and 78, let's go with 77. 77? Yeah. 77. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we're so we're going okay. for we're going okay, for so for six, right. you're saying S or T, or which one? What do we go with? I would say S was my first. All right, let's go with that. And I don't know where she appeared as a contestant. Yeah. Could it but be the $1,000 yeah, she, 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 she never showed up on Jeopardy? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. What other shows were on at the time? A contestant, a popular game show. Um, uh, oh, 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 how about the um, Price is Right? Let, let's make let's make a deal. Did you say Price is Right? They dressed all crazy because they wanted to get picked in the audience. Yeah, let's do Let's Make a Deal. That one I used to watch. Monty Hall. 
does a person does the person have to be in the room or if if the person if, if if we can talk to the person and still be here does that count because i've never asked for advice from anybody else before like do they have to be in the room or just that they can hear me i think i now i've asked other, i've asked questions before if they're in yeah. the room what other they're not in the room ask anybody the thought of that ask whoever is in the household like, yeah, but uh, you can't leave. You can't go seek them out. But if they can hear me and come to where I can yeah, ask them, yeah, that counts, yeah. right? Okay. I've how never many, done that before. Okay. How, many, how many puzzles do they have per show? <laughs> no idea. Okay, I'm going to mute myself for a second then. Okay. Hey, Steve. You're not muted. Number 10, I was just saying pain in the butt, but there would have already been an I. Thank you. Okay. I would like to change one of our answers, please. Yes. yes. Number five, uh -huh. okay. change it to 250 instead of 150. Ah, okay. And I do know the answer to number 10, but please everybody guess before <laughs> I tell you what it is. So I said pain in the butt, but then there would have already been an I. Uh, is it something really embarrassing, like on South Park? When, it, when but just dash. remember, people often make guesses that don't actually even fit into the available space. That, that's correct. I will tell you what it was <laughs> when you after you have guessed. <laughs> something in the butt. Uh huh. You are right about that answer. I think. You ready? Yeah. It's a guy. It's a man. And mm -hmm. he says with great confidence, right in the butt. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wasn't there a I'm so like, glad I'm recording. Song. There is I'm a recording song. right now. That's perfect. Doing it, doing it, and was it Eddie Murphy or someone had like something doing it in the butt or something? It was just that's the number of shots. So it's like eight point eight times. Let's call it five. What's there that? Forty k, forty k, forty k, forty or fifty. Forty or fifty. Fifty. Okay, 50. sounds good. Wait, is it unique puzzles or are there no repeats? I don't think they ever did repeats. If you did, you would, they would, they would still count them because if they did a repeat now, how would you remember if it was done in 1981? <laughs> yeah. yeah. How are you guys doing um, over here? Great. We're on the last three. Equally. Do you need more than two minutes? Uh, five. Five minutes. <laughs> well, you kind of watched two of our last answers, so now we're overthinking everything. Yeah, probably. So don't overthink everything. <laughs> Just give us the answers, and we'll be fine. It's, they can't be that hard if I created them. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit here and watch you and laugh for a moment. Okay, go ahead. All right. I okay. think you're the only one still discussing questions. Okay. So if it was fifty thousand, it would be what twelve. 1500 puzzles or game rather games wait yeah but she so could have worn the same it, outfit more than once uh, maybe. no i don't think she ever has worn the same outfit i mean there might have been certain i you know parts of the outfit that she wore more than once but i'll go with whatever you guys think i'm i'm just throwing out random so if, if, if you think there was fifty thousand puzzles and then there was four per game that's 12,500 games, right? So if she never wore the same thing twice, she'd have to have an awful lot of outfits. Oh, and she had an awful 8. lot of outfits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you think 9.8 thousand outfits? 
could be. I think I, I think both of them are whatever is 10. the highest number. That's my guess. The highest number? Yeah, I think for both of those questions, I think whatever is the highest on the multiple uh -huh. choice is the yeah. highest. Okay. I'm fine with okay. that. Okay. All right. So hey, now for the number 10, I thought I knew the answer, but then she gave the letters and that wasn't it because I the one that I've seen, it's supposed to be luck is in the air tonight or mm -hmm. luck is in the air. And he thought it was fuck me in the ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but that doesn't work um, with these letters. Uh, uh, well, something something in the butt works. Right. Right. Yeah. In the and it was, it's probably something is the best, but in the butt probably right. is what they said. <laughs> Although they were stupid because there's not two T's on in butt. Like yeah, there is the puzzle. Yeah, but the yeah. puzzle would have had two T's on it. Oh right, right. right. So yeah. that was a mistake on his part. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But luck be in the air. They thought it was fuck me in the ass. Yes, <laughs> but that doesn't match. Actually, that doesn't match. No, it doesn't match the letters that she gave. But that's the that's the only incorrect phrase I've seen. I think it was right in the butt. Right, right in the butt. In the yeah, which which goes along with her um, statement about it not being the number right. of letters. Yeah, yeah. this like happened our, recently. Our... Okay. Yeah, this was pretty recent. Right in the butt. Right in the butt. Boy, people's people are just getting right down in instead the of anyway. this is the best or something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Aspie and Jamie, you chiming in on anything? You're muted. Uh -huh. No, we don't have any answers that are any different. We're just kind of listening to pipe in when something comes up. Okay. So you guys think you got it? You did. You got him. Okay, I'm going to close the rooms. We okay. got them all. We got them all. We're going to get so a 10 awesome. on this for sure. We're awesome. Only if we cheat, but for sure a 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, my. Let's see what this is. It's funny because, oh, there it goes. It gives me the little countdown. I didn't see my little countdown. Because every time I click in, I click on something, everything goes away and I have to pull it back up again. You have that problem every time. Yeah. Well, it's just having multiple screens. That's what it does. Poor Susan. Oh, yeah. It's such a, Life it's is such a screen. Such a struggle. Goodness. I've got I mean, squirrels fighting against Between the being episode. hated by all the UFO believers oh, I know. and your problems with with zoom your life is i know it's just it's, it's crazy the things that i have to put up with oh and and then oh. and then there's the, there's these people <laughs> on thursday nights <laughs> you guys yeah. make it all oh, worthwhile and the government plants on wikipedia oh my god <laughs> well i mean she just tried to run the entire project herself and people right. keep getting in the way. I'm sitting here approving edits right now as we speak. That's it's I'm not playing a game on my phone. I'm playing. I'm, I'm. I have edits on my. I'm, I mean, there's constant. I mean, just everything. I'm constantly approving things. It's really sad. Or putting edits up in your twenty thousand um, puppet accounts. Oh, and all the millions of <laughs> dollars I make. That's right. Yeah. Well, you're that, a government shill. You you need to uh, to better spend that uh, for oh. you know, your your bot farm. <gasps> so, can't, I can't keep up with it. I really can't. Yeah, we really uh, need to plan a that. trip to some uh, one of those countries where they have all those you know farms where the people <laughs> sit around and do so much fun. I'm gonna have to do these more often. It's so fun to watch you guys. Okay, question number one. I don't know, but Bill watch a went, struggle. Bill just went. I think it's 1981. I'm like, dude, yeah, it was 1981. That's the year that Pat Sajak began anchoring the show. And I was watching in one of the rooms and they were going on about how old Pat Sajak is. And, and Leonard was telling me, without a plus or minus, we can't get this right. And so you finally settled on the correct answer, which is 77. <laughs> I, I watched you guys go, 78, no, 78. Well, did you, did, did you like my logic? 
Yeah, you win the middle. Yeah, I guess 76 or 77. And Someone else said 78. They said, okay. They said, let's go with 77. 77. I said, I hope they don't change their mind because they're going to be pissed. Okay. <laughs> the original host of the it. show was Chuck Woolery. L-O-W-O-L-L. W-O-O-L-L-E-R-Y. Yeah, that guy. I was going to say that's easy for you to say, but that's not going to work. Yeah. Okay, so number four, the new the new host is Ryan Seacrest, who is the host of American oh. Idol. Apparently, he has taken on several po- um, uh, game shows or 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 shows that kind of reality show kind of things and saved them. Like it was like, you know, they've been around for a very long time. And on question number five, the price has never changed for a vowel. And... Karen is going to have to do something very nice for her roommate who got it right. $250 for a vowel. I've never, I've never asked anyone. I've never, he's the only one in the house. I've never asked him a question before. What did he say? Why are you asking? He just got done watching it. He watches it every night. Oh, Oh. you should have had him in the room with you. Especially for question 10. He doesn't come in my room. Okay. In England, there are a, a a hundred pounds. Oh well, it's That's about not... the same. All right. So the first level puzzle, you were given a bunch of letters out of General Hospital, and and you're probably going to kick yourself whenever you hear it was T. <gasps> not the S. I heard several people saying S. Yes. Will right. you explain why? No, uh, Carolyn. There's no explanation. Oh. No, there was no, there was no, there was no rhyme or reason. It's well, just there, like, there is because people, people are going to think, oh, a vowel like E. Yeah, R S T. But you can't but pick R-S-T-L-N-E a vowel first. R S T L N E are the most common letters. R S T L N E. Yeah. That's an oing turdlu. So, so it was going to probably be R S T. But again, it's the first, first game ever. So maybe people weren't as sophisticated. Well, it was her first game. So maybe yeah, but you, you spin. You can't buy a vowel if you have no money. So you have right, to spend. So it has to be a, it has it has to be a consonant. Can't be a vowel. Okay. So the question seven, the answer. Well, that's if you believe in the letter binary. So, the, <laughs> so Alan, I hope you're ready to gloat. Could be a vowel if you pick Y. On question seven, Alan, you ready? Why would you do that? Alan, where are you? I don't see Alan. Oh, there he is. He's, He's muted. Right next muted. To you. Alan? He's frozen. All right. The answer is Price is Right. He's, he's, he's saying Price is Right. And I'm like going, because they wrote something else down. All that, right. would have, that would have been my only contribution to the to the show. And they what didn't was? believe you? Uh-uh. They ignored me. Oh. Oh, be. At their failed. Just remember, it's all about the base. Okay. Think of any right. eight. Would be, uh... How many outfits has Vanna worn on the show? And I don't think she's ever repeated any, but Deborah might be right where sometimes maybe pieces of it are are used again. But I can't even imagine this. 7.8 thousand. Oh, seven point eight. They would shoot three in a day. So they kept, you know, changing her clothes. That so, must have been that must have kept somebody employed for a very long time for coming up with those outfits. And how many puzzles have been appeared on the show, according to the article I read? Fifty thousand. Uh, oh, let's take a look. Okay, and the last one. I am shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. I tell you, how many people here knew the answer? I don't know why you knew the answer, Kevin. I mean, uh, Karen did. Leonard did. Seen the video. It was actually, I, I saw it on the news. It was, I was actually able to just guess it. I had no, I had no knowledge of it whatsoever. It was kind of like watching um, whenever we went to go play Cards Against Humanity and Rob was there. And he was like, what? It, what? <laughs> I'm sitting here with some of these offensive cards. And he's. Hey, 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 hey Susan. What, what happens in Raleigh stays in Raleigh. <laughs> but still, I was saying, I don't know how you know this. I'm not sure I want to know. But anyway. So here's what the puzzle. I, I wasn't even there, and I'm sure it was hilarious. So here's what the screenshot looked like. You guys can see that. Oh, I've got a. I've got a. I'm gonna play it, the video. It's very short, but I'm gonna play it for you. But I gotta hit the button that says um, "play sound." Sound. Yeah. So that's what it was. And remember, these people are trying to say it very fast. 
because you know somebody else is going to be there. Our first toss-up is worth one thousand dollars. Category is phrase, and off we go. Tavares, right in the butt. What? No. <laughs> Blake. This is the best. Yeah, that's that's it. I think. Yeah. Let's go to work. <laughs> I preferred pain in the butt. Uh, uh, uh. Some people wonderful. right in the butt is the best. So he got it wrong, <laughs> but he's he's in two different ways. Show. Any, so any he, way, he won the day. He won yeah, day. he couldn't. You couldn't see, but he was blushing. Yeah, I got a million. He's probably got a million views, yeah. and yeah. and probably is on um, what was the Apprentice or something. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> adding insult to injury. Oh, I know, I know. Okay, so let's go over to the scores. All righty. Making yeah. sure I don't show anybody the wrong <laughs> things. Can't have that. I cannot yeah. have the wrong scores. No. Okay, so let's see. Yeah. Uh, is it about or a boot? Oh, your thing is broken. I knew you did it wrong. <laughs> you got we'll have to deal with it afterwards. Oh my God! All right, so I believe we got five. We did. Uh, oh, I see how I've got it wrong. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> Iron Dome over Mar-a-Lago. Seven. <sighs> you. Okay, and let's see. Let's go, Oilers. Five, five again. I think. I don't know why it's bolded. Why is that bolded? We just want to appease you, Susan. So we're going to do five, five, five. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So we have this new st state motto, theocracy for all. Nine. Oh. Ooh. Nine. Nine. Okay. R.I.P. Willie oh, Mays. Nine. Sutherland. Nine also. Whoa. Okay. Average score seven. That's. I got it tougher. That was just too easy okay. for you guys. So let's, let's see. photo. Photo, everyone. By the way, Wendy, did you did did, did you see the uh, Tyrrell Museum pics? You should probably I just send I looked at them, but I but I didn't study them. Why? Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> I, I, okay. I just thought I could uh, could uh, could show them after we've done the picture or something. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, are nice. you ready? Where's Jamie Caspian? Elsewhere. Okay. Everybody look over here at the camera. Give me a nice smile. Smile, Katniss. Let's see if we got it. Hey, look over here. Right. I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking at you and you're not there the camera is. Yes. That's the problem. <laughs> That's how it works. What day is today? 20, 20th, right? 20th. June. Uh, summer okay. solstice. Five Almost 21. Solstice. Go mm -hmm. be free. Susan, did you watch? Uh, did you watch the video yet? Yeah, it was great. I had so you much did. fun watching the videos of you guys. There was two weeks I had to watch, and I was just chatting and laughing along with you guys. It was. What did you think of Gusan? Oh, he was Gusan. Oh my gosh, uh, quite couldn't <laughs> place the accent. He's supposed to be German, but he's from New England. Sort of. <laughs> Bill, did you have your hand up? Hmm. You have your no, hand up. Just yeah, he, you know, live long and prosper. Oh. <laughs> and okay. the stupid thing. Okay. Interpreted it. I don't know why it won't go down. There we go. Hello. <laughs> Another one, buddy. Okay. Nice so to so, okay, Wendy, so have you uh, been accused of being on a planet other than Earth? 
Excuse me? Have you been accused of being on a planet other than Earth? Not lately. Why? Okay, because your your name says Wendy Hughes, planet Earth. Oh. oh. Yeah. Um, okay. Is... It seemed like a good idea at the time. Okay. So uh, can everybody see the picture I'm putting up? Yep. Yeah, it looks like um, uh... a dinosaur exhibit in Alberta. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. So this is this one is uh, sort of the uh, uh, place to see some sort of mammoth or mastodon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with uh, with a uh, saber toothed cat. Uh... Smilodon. Yes, Smilodon. And then we go 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 a little farther back in time to the Triceratops. Are these real bones, or are they like plastic assembly? Oh. Um... Oh, ooh. Well, let's see. Uh, real bones are plastic or plaster cast. Hmm. I'm not sure of that actually. Uh, a lot. Uh, the the museums in general do do a lot of plaster cast stuff. So here, uh, I'm. They're sending, a mixture uh, of I, both real and um, ca ca cast, yeah. but a lot of the bones are actual fossils. Yeah. Yeah, so uh yeah. So there I'm standing in front of the mirror taking a picture of the the thing. So you can see my, my camera in front of my face. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we've got some more dot and uh let's see, this is more one of the uh yeah, I think it's a, a duck bill. Yeah. Yeah, it's a duck bill. Yeah, stegosaurus. Okay, and here's the beside behind the scenes. Uh, yes, there's. Oh, Ken. that is so cool! I know yeah. several of those people, or at least three of them. Yeah. Yes, right. <laughs> yes. We all were right. behind the scenes where all the hidden stuff is. Yes. I'm. I'm sorry. Yes. I get and, to come there. And and here's something that uh, I guess uh, had been in the main halls, and they put it in because they rotate the uh, rotate what's displayed every so often. Uh, then uh, now were these Jesus's pets? Um, not how many were on the ark? Jesus. Yeah. How many were on the ark? Yeah. <laughs> Zero. Yeah. Well, these, uh, these are the well, yeah, uh, well, 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 descendants of the ark. The, the, these were the ones that didn't that, that didn't get on the ark. That's why they're fossilized in the mud. Right. <laughs> yes. Cetrosar bone bed. Yes. That looks like an uncomfortable bed. Yes, yes, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess the uh, I guess these yogis could uh, uh, could do that instead of bed of nails. <laughs> and there's an ammonite. I've there's I've got a... ammonites. On... That's scary. I like they're my favorites. Yeah. Do you have ammonite though, Wendy? They're um just some tattoos. Yeah, they're ammonites. But do you ammonites. have you heard of ammonite? Yeah. No, it's, it's a, a gemstone. Beautiful where ammonites in the bear's paw formation in the southern part of Alberta, because it used to be a sea there, the mineral deposits have actually turned the ammonites into gemstones. I have to have one. I yeah, have I'm... shit tons of it. I love it. It's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I've never yeah. seen it. It's That's like a rainbow. Yeah. Oh, You That's... can get them in red. The blue and purple is the most rare because it's um, at the deepest depths, and so it's the most fragile. But look up Amalite. You'll be impressed. Yeah. I love that guy. Yeah. Nice. Anyway, anyway, so there's a, uh, I think, uh, I think this one was lying on its side and its uh, and its skull got squished a bit. Uh, at, at least uh, it seems a bit weird that it would be that thin. And well, then, it was a juvenile and he died in the mud, so yeah, yeah. kind of decomposed a bit. Yeah. But we got to touch the teethies in there. Big, how long do you bake those? At what temperature? Uh, <laughs> Nine thousand degrees for three million years. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, come on back. Yes. And then we got to touch. That's my hand, actually, touching yeah. dinosaur skin. I want a copy of that photo. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. I guess. Uh, I guess at some point uh, I could email it to you if you can give. Well, me you're both in Canada. You can just hand it to her. Right. Yeah. Yes. Well, uh, or the next time I uh, 
Well, the next time we're both in the same city, like you snap a screenshot right now. Yeah. Well, that would take brains. Yeah. Oh, okay. I could. Uh, yeah. And then here we're uh, out at the hoodoos. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Hey, I know those people. Yes. Okay. So anyway, I guess I'll stop screen sharing and say goodbye. And uh... thank you oh, for you're leaving us for sharing. Yes. Yeah. I did scrap grab a screen. Thank oh, you for okay. that. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, everybody, are we back? Okay. Let's do our announcements. Well, uh, I'll say good night and. Uh, see Bye, Jim. Bye. Bye. Good night, Jim. Good night, Jim. Thanks Thank for you. sharing. Good night, Gracie. Bye. Thank Bye. you for sharing. That was fun. Okay, so um, Kyle, what you got? Well, the latest on Data Skeptic, we're interviewing three different people about their journey and using computer programming, specifically people coming from not an engineering background and what it means to incorporate that craft into your profession. So that's this week on Data Skeptic. I understand you're also doing a talk uh, for the Bay Area Skeptics online virtual thing. Oh, I am. Yeah, I, I'll be at Skeptical, the date I don't know off the top of my head, but uh, the Saturday of the two days. Carol, up 20th, July. July 20th. Thank you. So that'll be fun. Okay. Uh, Rob, you have something? I am also going to be um, at Skeptical, sort of. I'm going to be doing a lightning talk. Oh, on nice. Subject that a much shorter version of what I did in Raleigh. Um. So this last weekend was the third segment of my report from the aforementioned Skeptic Camp, which features none other than Faith and Romero. It was really Faith. fun listening to those. Absolutely yes. fun as heck. I, I, I really enjoy those interviews. Um, I have got to sit down and talk to some people about some of the things that I was talking to the people from CFI when I was talking to Barry Carr and... Um, Remind me sometime, I will have to tell you things what, like Rob, I know I've got to tell you that and the triangle skeptics and different things I was, I talked to them about, but for another night, um, I actually started recording Psychic's Explained videos again, and there's two new ones up on my channel. They're uh, just trying to get back into the swing of things, and I haven't really recorded much. I have a lot on my mind when it comes to the psychic stuff that I'm a lot I'm holding back, but I've added a couple things on, on Wednesday, I had forgotten I was doing this and actually it came out really well is that I was interviewed to do a talk for a an evangelical Christian teenage group in Santa Cruz. And I was thinking, how am I going to do this? Praise the Lord. I know. How am I going to do this? It's a, it's a group of people. It's called Maven. And what they do is the organization brings children together, evangelical children and their parents sometimes into a one week setting in a nice place like LA or Santa Cruz, or they've been in Colorado, different places. And then they treat them to an experience. It's like an immersive um, to help condition them to be better evangelicals. So what they do is they bring in critical thinkers, uh, atheists specifically, and what they want to do is they want us to give talks. They pay us 250 bucks, but they, they pay you and they want you to do a talk. And it, what it is, is it, they're saying it's for critical thinking reasons and stuff like that. But we know that part of the reason is, is they're trying to find the best arguments used with atheists and to help the kids be better prophetizers. So I had gone back and forth my mind. Risky, seat. that's risky. <laughs> yeah, these kids, well, the kids go. Yeah, so so I, you know, I talked to a few atheist people that I hadn't known before. They gave me the names of a couple people and I talked to them about what their experiences was and they said they're very nice people and I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, I know they're, I'm sure they're very nice. But one really hit home, he said, you know, you're talking to teenagers and this might be your only chance to t talk to this age group of of students from the ages of 14 to 17 and they're you can influence them at this age more than and this might be the last chance they're going to get to really hear from somebody who is not in their world so i went in on wednesday they were wonderful a group of about 25 students and they i had no idea they wanted me to talk about 
psychics. So <laughs> they had no idea. I had no idea what they know. I don't know if they have access to TV and stuff and knew anything like that. So I came in and I told them a little bit about hot reading, cold reading and who I was. And then I asked them to tell me, ask me questions about psychics. And they asked me, they asked me some pretty well-informed ish, you know, you could tell they had some information about psychics. And then I just went and answered the questions. And then I started talking about the stings I've done. And I had no slides, no audio, no video, nothing. And they were really sitting on the edge of their seats. They were loving it. They, it was one of the best talks I've given to an uninformed audience ever. The parents, there was a couple of parents in the back and they're nodding their head like, you know, because we're talking about grief. We're talking about how vulnerable you are with grief. And we're talking about all kinds of stuff and, you know, have compassion for people. And, oh my gosh, they were all into it. And I only got one question that was religious oriented. And it was a young uh, woman in the front row. She, the first question that was asked to me pretty much, she says, so do you think psychics are in contact with the demons and the devil and Satan? And I said, I think you're incredibly brave to do that. No, I it was believe. fun. And I said, I said to her, I said, I don't believe in any of that. I don't believe that. But I, what I think is actually going on is much more interesting and much more complicated. Let's, and let's talk about that. And so we talked about what's going on. And I talked about signs, you know, like S I. It's like in GS, you know, signs, signs, like how right. they say birds, God sent me a bird or, or the dead person sent me a bird or sent me a coin, you know, signs. Yeah, and butterflies I, and yeah. cardinals and all that. Crap. Yeah, I think that's really common in the religious world also. So I thought I would talk about that without, so I wasn't talking about religion at all. In fact, I was very, you know, I said, when we're talking about seek out people to help you understand, like if you're having problems as have talked to somebody, you know, talk to your parents, keep the communication open, talking, talk to your clergy, talk to, you know, and, and they just loved it. They're going to invite me back. And then Greg Rowe from the Santa Cruz skeptics went Thursday yesterday. And he said, it was amazing. He talked about something else, but he said it was wonderful. He had a really good experience. So we'll both probably be coming back to this maiden thing. So anyway, that's what I did on, um, do, do you think they'd let me represent think? recovering from religion and give them a talk on our organization? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't think so. Well, they have <laughs> to have something at a location near you. So it's so you go in and you talk to them one on one, and it was great. He's, Rob's going to teleport in. <laughs> okay. Any other announcements? Well, yeah. I mean, we know that we have these portals from you know the aliens that have been working with the U.S. government. So I just have to get hold of one. So I see Rob went and fixed my game. <laughs> Susan, okay, so you have... had the perfect you had the perfect topic because this is one place where we agree with each other. They don't like this stuff either. No, so in you fact, had a perfect topic for them. Yeah, I really was able to connect with them. I think I think it was a it was <laughs> seriously a connection. And at the end, the uh, one of the the fathers that was in the back. I mean, they were really just living. Just I don't know what they thought I was gonna it was gonna be like. I talked about, but what I talked about was I'm I'm seriously watching them go. Like you know, they were just like yeah, and yeah. And, they, and they were appalled at some of the stuff. And I talked to him about how. Um, religion how people how psychics use religion and how um don't let your guard down just because they say that they're a godly person or they use those catch words i said they're just they're taking advantage of you and or they are some of the mediums have bought into it and think they're really helping and it's still it's still a con even if they think they're helping or the people who really are frauding are fraud. And then I talked to him about sexting and romance scams and and I just covered it. I said, this is just one of many cons. They are just preying one. on them. Yeah, well, they're preying on them. So I what talked to him eat? about that. <laughs> and I talked to and and I and I and I told him, I said, you know, keep a good keep keep communication open with your family and stuff. Somebody's gonna, you know, and and talk to your friends. And so I said, and when I at the end, the father, one of the fathers comes over and he's like, I hope they paid a good attention. He says that astronomy and I mean, astronomy, astrology stuff is just nonsense. And I'm like, absolutely. So I thought it was because I think what they were expecting is a us versus them kind of conversation. You know, I'm and an atheist. You showed them that atheists aren't evil and they aren't scary. 
And so Wait what I did is the opposite. And so I think that, you know, I think that, that at least in this small group of people, we all agreed and they had so much more information. I think they'd be better off, but it was like, you know, 20 people. So who knows? But anyway, they, it was great. It was a great experience. I had a good time and I never mentioned religion. I don't think at all once, except that they will use religion to you anyway. Okay. So we're ready to go back. I might be on the skeptic zone this week, depending on Richard. <laughs> well, let's hope you're cool. on the skeptic zone. He, he said he was going to, but he's also been traveling. So is he I'm back in Australia yet? What's that? Is he back in Australia? Yes. He got okay. back like two days ago. So, oh, he's going to be jet lagged. He hates that. He yeah. The worst jet lag. My, my last segment from uh, skeptic camp will be just susan so susan is going to be on this weekend that's this week I right love your series you know, this I, I really like it and then adrian's going to be coming in with her series from new mexico ah yes and then i'm going to go to new york new york I'm what gonna new york. what i'm going to be speaking at the skeptic camp i'm going to spend a week at the at the center for inquiries um headquarters oh, new york state not new york city okay i don't go to new york city okay I mean, New York City. New York City. <laughs> so, and I'm going to throw this out here just for you guys that I have given out a bunch of tickets to the Magic Castle. Mark will be there on July the 8th. And I've been trying to get people who are first time goers, but I have had, I've, I have some tickets left over still. And if you, you, it's a week. He's there. So if you want to be at the Magic Castle and there are rules to go to the Magic Castle, I might oh, be able yeah. to bring your it. nice clothes and shoes that fit. <laughs> <laughs> and um and the other uh, I'll s I don't want to take up one of your tickets, but I'll see if I can get somebody to let me in. Well, let's see what let's see when it gets I mean, you're somebody who's right there. So if I have a ticket left over, I'll just say, Hey Wendy, come on. Okay. I've got an extra ticket. But what they're doing is they give out five tickets. Now, so if you've got a party of four or a party of two, then you're almost always going to have one person, one ticket left over. It's a stupid thing to give out five, but you used to give out six, but now they're giving out five. So. Let's hear it for one people. <laughs> one people. One Karen's people. going. Singletons. Okay. But Singleton. she, wants to, go by, she Singleton. wants to go by herself. How right. astute of them to assume that some people are not automatically coming in pairs. We could say singletons unite, but that would be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's our score so far. We're at eight. We have somebody at eight. That's the team five. And two are tied for second place and with 10. And then we have two people tied, two groups tied for first place with 15. And let me tell you, it's a wild card. Because we got a whole two other categories and a bonus. And this is, they're all going to be, if, I'm, I'm shocked you guys at seven. Um, the easiest category I did was the Wheel of Fortune one. So, oh, here we go. Easy. You well, ready? Carolyn, read the chat, please. I am. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I thought she was supposed to read out loud. No. Oh, there it is. Good, good. Okay, Rob, put the link in there. Okay, so question three. Now, you guys know I just came back from this vacation, sort of vacation. And one of the places I stopped off at was a place in uh, Kansas City. And I have been here before, about 20-something years ago. And this is one of my favorite presidents. But I went to the Harry Truman Presidential Library. And I was I, I am like Karen. I, I sometimes like to go do things by myself. I can take my time. I can wander around. I can spend as long as I want on my exhibit without feeling like I'm slowing people down or I can rush through because I'm tired of looking at whatever. So I, I sometimes really like to go do stuff by myself. And so I went and did this by myself and I had a really good time and I learned a lot of things. And so I'm going to share with you, that's the category tonight, is about the library, about different things. So a lot of this is Truman related, Harry Truman related. But it's not all Harry Truman related. So, um, some of it's Trump, you mean? No, none of it's Trump. I you got my not. ticket, Carolyn. Oh, yeah. Tickets go up on uh, July 1st. So, get yours soon. <clears throat> go up. Okay. Salute. Good job, Carolyn. All right. So, question number one 
Harry Truman did not return to farming after World War I. The family leased the land and the money that the family had. The, the family had uh, land. And um, with the money that he, that the family had, you know, that leased and everything, Harry went in and his buddy opened up a business. Now, what kind of business did they open? This is after World War I. Um, it's not farming. He didn't farm after the war. So what was it that this business that Harry Truman did <clears throat> okay question two and i'm not going to pronounce this name but it's it's japanese uh and it's a it's a female uh she survived the bombing at hiroshima but died of leukemia at the age of 12 before she died she made famous a japanese legend and what was that legend so there was this legend that was known in japan and she made it famous enough that you probably have heard it. Wasn't it already famous if it was a legend by definition? No. Well, it might have been famous in Japan, <laughs> yeah. but it wasn't famous worldwide. And now it's famous worldwide. And they had an exhibit on it at the Harry Truman Presidential Library. Okay. Question Bye. three. What U.S. battleship held the signing of the surrender of Japan ending World War II. Three. Three? Hmm? That oh. was in Janine's room. Oh. Okay, question four. During the Berlin airlift, what is the average number of planes that flew into blockaded Berlin each day with supplies? 164, 384, 594, 844, or 1,024. What is the average number of airplanes that came in to supply um, mm -hmm. to the to the people of Berlin during the yeah. Berlin airlift? Okay, hey, question five. Yeah. During the Berlin airlift, it took one, two, three or four tons of food per day to feed the citizens of Berlin? Oh, I'm sorry. 100, 200, 300, or 400. I'm sorry. That should be 100, 200, 300, or 400 tons. Oh, wow. Because one ton is not enough. It's a happy meal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I had Super size, super size. four tons of gravel delivered to me and, and that wasn't anything. So here's here's the question rephrase now. There it is. 100, 200, 300, 400 tons. Which one is that? Hi. Question six. What amendment to the Constitution that was ratified in 1967 made provision for replacing a vice you president? You people, somebody's talking. Robert? Kevin. Okay. What amendment to the Constitution ratified in 1967 made provision for replacing a vice president when the elected vice president had been elevated to the presidency? So I'm asking for what amendment to the Constitution? Sorry, Canadians. Question seven. When Truman had no vice president after taking office in 1945, what political position would have become president in the event of Truman's death? So president had died. Truman was made president. There is no vice president. So if Truman had died, who would have become president? Okay. And that's in 1945. It's changed eventually, but oh. nobody had thought of that before. Oh. Okay, number eight. Joe Biden is number 46. He's our 46th president. What number was Harry Truman?
Okay, this one is, I didn't know this. This is another one. I did not know any of this. Question nine, question nine, number nine. The famous desk sign, the sign on the desk that resided on Truman's desk faced outwards. Outwards, it said, the buck stops here. But on the back of the desk sign was a quote that Truman saw every time he sat down at his desk. What did it say? And I'm giving you some possibilities. I'm the ultimate decider. <laughs> I will always return. Home is where the heart is. Love always triumphs. Or I'm from Missouri. <laughs> so what did he sit and he looked at when he sat at his desk? While other people in the room would see, I mean, who came in would see the buck stops here. Hmm. And I didn't know this. And lastly, question 10. Was Truman always a Democrat? True or false? Or yes, yes or no? no. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? It has to be a question. Was he always a Democrat? Yeah. It's either, it's either yes or no. Yeah, yeah or no. Okay. That's it. Okay. Go to your rooms. Try to remember your his your lessons from Truman and in that era of the war and era of time, and see what you come up with. I'm very curious. Well, I know two. Okay. Hopefully you know some, Carl and Cindy. I don't think I know any. And we could figure out number eight if we don't know it automatically, right? What was number eight again? Number eight was if Biden is 46, which oh. president... Truman. I mean, so we can just go back and figure that if if Carl doesn't know it like that. Do you know it like that, Carl? Uh, I think he was the 33rd president. Okay, great. 33rd. Should, should we check that by going through them or you're pretty confident? I'm pretty sure. He's from my home state of Missouri. Right, right. That's, well, that's what I was thinking, hoping you might know. Yep. Now, I thought I knew one until she said it's changed since then. What was that, number seven? I mean, isn't that the Speaker of the House? But then she said... No, that... not not at that time. It, oh. the, the presidential succession has changed numerous times. I think okay. uh, at that time, and I'm not 100% sure, I think it would have been the Secretary of State back then. Okay. I think it's really funny that your kitty showing his backside to this camera yeah. okay secretary of state now number two i know right i don't know it's what do you what is it the 1000 cranes 1000 cranes holding 1000 oh. cranes isn't Baby that it familiar. no i haven't i've never heard of that but okay i'm pretty sure that's what it is okay peace cranes okay is it one thousand? Oh, wait, is it one thousand or ten thousand? I don't think any of that number is even for five. It's big enough. Uh, really? Five is even the four hundred tons. Yeah, uh... it's really big. Well, how many? How many people would have been in Berlin, in the western zone of Berlin? Right. I have no idea. Yeah, it's only half of Berlin, right? Yeah, well, if we want to say that's the... it's two thirds of Berlin, and it's the more populous parts. Right. 
So Berlin was like Germany tons? was. Yeah, I would say that's, at least that's the biggest the max. one. So yeah, yeah. And what did we decide for the airplanes? A lot. A lot. I'd go with the biggest number possible. A thousand twenty-four okay. flights a day. Yep. A lot of airplanes. Okay. Mm, the twenty fifth amendment. That's the that's what immediately came to mind for me. Was that in sixty seven? I I know it's I around so, there somewhere. I, it's the twenty fifth amendment. Okay. Yeah. Because it was the last. The, we only have twenty six, right? And the twenty six was the eighteen year old vote. We All have right. 27. Oh, 27. Yeah. Okay. And the, 20, the 27th twenty seventh is the one uh, that was on the original Bill of Rights. Yeah, one it's Congress 12. can't vote themselves a pay raise until a new Congress takes okay. Right. office. Okay. okay. So, yeah. I'm uh, guessing number, seven is the Speaker of the House. I don't think so. I think it's the Secretary of State. We changed it so yeah. that elected officials would be at the very top of the list right but at the time i think it went to the secretary of state okay yeah. number eight is 33 right number nine is i'm from missouri cool i didn't know that my guess that was going to be my guess i didn't know but yeah, I was going to guess that. Number 10. The other, the, other, is... the other ones don't make any sense at all. <laughs> right. Exactly. Number 10, I'm going to bet is yes. Yeah. Well, I would have said no. I would have said no because you know what? When he was a year old, he wasn't anything. Well, he was a Southern male. He was a Democrat, whether he knew it or not. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. I think we're done, Susan. And we're going to get a 10 this time. <laughs> Amendment number. And the point here is this is replacing the vice president. Kennedy was assassinated. The vice president became president and the vice presidency became vacant. And what happened in 67 provided for the vice president to also be, to be also replaced. That was Ford was president. Yeah. But I don't remember what number it was. <clears throat> Does anybody know one of the ones for reference? Like, you know, that was the same. Okay, let's see, sixty-seven. That 16. was the same one as changing the age to vote, right? Yeah, I think you might be right. Because in sixty-seven, we were. Like there was even a go nineteen effort then. That was just before I well, was married. It's got to be after. It's someplace around eighteen or nineteen, and eighteen I think is the is the current <laughs> one that has about who can run for office. So was it included in there? I don't think so. I think eighteen it's was higher. the one that they were talking about with Trump. Can he? Can he being Insurrection. No, that was 13, not 18. I think it's higher. Yeah, that was 14 that they're talking Probably, about. That would, was back the Civil War. Yeah. And there's been a bunch since. Yeah, well, I I think like the the repeal of prohibition, I think was 18, 17, 18, something like that. One was voting and one was repeal of prohibition. I think somebody said who was that that did say that? Well, it was Douglas MacArthur, but yeah, something close to that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, MacArthur on leaving uh, the Philippines. I shall return. I shall return. That's it. Yes. And then Schwarzenegger said, "I'll be back." Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's, However, 
I, I, I don't pay attention to numbers. I think there's <laughs> like 25 20 or so. I don't know if it's as many as five, but it's in the 20s. So let's either go with 19, 20, or 21. I would say 20 was a good guess. 20 it is. Because I have no idea what 20 was. And I don't think I'd have paid attention to that one enough, which is why I don't know it. Bush won, and then Reagan was for, uh, 40. Right. Carter, 39. Carter, 39. Ford, 38. 38. Nixon, 37. Seven. Johnson, 36. Kennedy, 35. Eisenhower. I, yeah, I just miscounted. Yeah, I just miscounted. All right. I can't believe I did that backwards. Very good. 33. So I never passed math anyway. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, the buck stops here. Oh, on the back. What? Now, he was from Missouri, but I thought that was too obvious. So I'm wondering if it was uh, uh, home is where the heart is. Oh, man. It's well, the other, the other, the only ones I could think that would that would would work for that would be, uh, uh, home is where the heart is, or I'm from Missouri. Why not? I'm the ultimate decider. That that would be that's a uh, that's a, a Bush twoism, where he used to call himself the decider. No, really? that's not. That's for sure really? not. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, didn't you remember uh, 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 Bush Bush the uh, second called himself? He said he was the decider. No, I don't remember that. Yeah, I it's where home is where the heart is. All right. That sounds very Missourian. Yeah, okay. sounds boring. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and and has anybody heard that Truman was not always a Democrat? Although I don't know why she'd ask if it was just a simple, uh, yeah, no, or yes. Well, that's what I was wondering if it was a trick question. Uh, I, I because of, because of the way I I would say no, but I'm I'm inclined to say he was anyway. But I don't know. What do you guys think, Romero and Faye? Was he ever the party of Lincoln? Susan being tricky. I don't. I wonder if like why was she asked if he if he was always a Democrat? Right. I know. Why would you think to ask that? Was he ever of the party of Lincoln? And then he moved out. Well, did he? By the way, out? I just I just watched Oppenheimer yesterday, and he comes across uh, Truman as a dick. Yeah. <laughs> well, Democrats kind of were jerks back then until they flip flopped. Oh, uh, but Truman was great. I mean, his no, but quotes... it, was just, it was just one. You know, he was only yeah. in it for a bit, and it was just one interface with Oppenheimer, and he was like, wow. You know, don't he, he, you know, Oppenheimer leaves, don't ever let that like jerk back in my office again or something like that. Well, yeah. Oppenheimer may have been a jerk. Yeah, well, in the context, it was no, he was. Also, love always triumphs is pretty okay, good. Okay, I'm going to close the rooms, you guys. Give us just a couple minutes. Well, that's how long you get with a. That's what we've got. We, we just need that. I think that it says that it's facing outwards and back. I'm the ultimate decider is what the buck stop here is about. Doesn't that make sense? Yeah. That's the only one that sort of fits. Yeah. But what a oh, disappointing the is slogan. Love always triumphs also works. <laughs> but that would be, his. this is to remind himself. And was yeah. he always a Democrat as far as I know? He uh, I'm from Missouri makes sense too, though. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't have anything to do with what it says. It's supposed to remind him what the buck stops here is about, right? I would think so. Was Truman always a Democrat? I hope so. I think okay. so. Although, why do you ask that question if he wasn't, right? Right, well, he yeah. Was, I know. He was Roosevelt's vice president. Yep. So, yeah, that makes sense. He was a Democrat. But, but back then, at some point, it was a switch. I think it switched at after Lincoln. Okay, that, he was a business that was the before, opposing so he could have been a Republican. You want to say no? I think Why he would you ask the question if it was yes? I think it's yes. Okay. okay. But I don't know. I'll agree. Yes. We have a 50% chance of getting it right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I have a feeling he was some sort of an independent early in his... Oh, he could have been and, an uh, independent. 
You want to say no? We've only got 30 seconds. Quick. Maybe he was a teenage communist. <laughs> you want to say yes or no? I think he was independent. I, I vote no. Was, no. I think yeah, he was no. an independent. We're going to say no. Okay. We've got answers to everything. He wasn't born that way. <laughs> I was just thinking that as a businessman, he might have been a Republican, but an independent makes sense. Remember things switched. I hope you guys are, I hope you guys are all enjoying this. I'm really enjoying being on this end and watching you guys argue these things out, sometimes talking yourself out of the correct answers. It's you yeah, like to watch us fun. suffer. It's it's hilarious. Well, sometimes you get it right, you remember? And and it's very cool. I like to see your reasoning. All right, so question number one, what kind of business did he have? Um, a few people got this right on the nose, haberdashery or a men's clothing store I would also take. Oh, did that too. Romero. Sold how, hats. Very dapper. Neckties. Yeah. Romero, yeah Romero. Haberdashery is not just hats. No, no, well, no, but it's men's clothing. That was Alan Robbery. Romero. Romero. One Romero thing he didn't was sell was, was white hoods. No, and no, and it was by, it was a it the business did fail though. But Mary was trying to talk us into computer repair shop, but we didn't go for that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, apparently, you know, that we had time travel equipment back then. But. Well, of course, you know. Yeah. I thought strip joint in a brewery. Or early I, IBM. Time travel machine on. repairman. Okay. Uh, the haberdashery was a front for the time travel business. <laughs> <laughs> well, wasn't that what uh, Napoleon Solo went into? Uh, as the man from mm -hmm. Uncle is into a haberdashery. Mm. And if it has to do with time travel, you'd have to have fezes in there. Right? Here's here's a picture. Oh, oh. The fezes are cool. Here yeah. is a photo. A photo. Oh. And this is this is him right here. Boy, okay. don't they all look damper? Yeah, and here's all their ties. They do. Look at that. Don't they do you imagine wearing a tie like that today? Even the way that they're leaning on the counters is just so cool. And the, and the even more interesting thing is they were all 17 in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I love photos, as you guys know, and I love social history. And just the idea of looking at that photo and looking at those men's faces and thinking. The creases down the front of their They back. had no idea what, what they would be in store for, especially Truman, that he would be making decisions that he had to make. He'd be president of the United States. That's that's just to he look at them it. And say. He had no idea. You know, he had no clue. Japan, World War II, they just finished the Great War. They didn't even call it World War One because it was the Great War. It was the it, war to end all wars. Yes. So they had never thought that there would be it was the best war ever. So it's number two, I think I heard several people get this right. Folding a thousand origami paper cranes. Oh, oh we got it wrong. Beautiful symbol of peace. Yeah. And she died very, um, she died at the age of 12. There are plus or minus uh, on the number of cranes. Nope. Oh, good. <laughs> Except that she, she folded several more than. A no, well, yeah. there's the, depending, there's a whole Wikipedia page on this. Some say she didn't do it. And some say that her friends and family came together and finished them. And some say that she had way too many. So. Anyway, it was no. Yeah, no, she had help from Saunders. And it's any of them shaped like Godzilla. It's nope. a beautiful. Yeah, I, mean, I thought symbol. it was Godzilla. Nope. It's a beautiful peace symbol that I have a few here in the house. It is a wonderful little thought. Okay, so here we go. Uh, what battleship? USS Missouri. Yes, I think most of you got that. I think Mighty Mo. Okay, now number question TV four and 53. five. You guys really went for it. At least all the answers I saw. The question for number four, the answer is 594. It's still a lot, but it's not a thousand. 500 was insane the amount of flights to come in and out of that place. In yeah, a day. We, did, we did the math and if it was 1,024, it would be essentially one a minute, which is... It was, it was way too much. Yeah. So it's 500. They did get it down really, really fast, but it wasn't uh, wasn't a thousand. And then you have to spend time on un unloading. I just, I just, I, I just googled it and it said 15,000. 15, 
Well, I don't a care what day? Was that was that no. I was out there. No. I was at the museum. 15,000 15, tons a day. Oh, we're not up to that one yet. Okay, no. Um, here, I will show you this briefly. This is the exhibit they have on the planes at the museum, uh, and it represents wow. the planes. That's how many planes it took. Wow. Exactly. And they have a nice little exhibit there of how many planes that would be. Imagine that coming in and out every day. According to Wikipedia, the combined distance was approximately one astronomical unit. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. That's some uh, frequent flyer miles, man. Okay, so <laughs> the airlift brought in 200 tons of food per day to feed the citizens of Berlin. Is it airplane food? Plus or minus 100? <laughs> I think All they peanuts. would take whatever, but that All didn't peanuts. count medication or anything like that. It was just the food. Okay. What amendment? 25th. We were off by plus or minus five. And number <laughs> seven. And this wait, is wait, wait. What number was that? 25? Uh -huh. yeah. 25. Um, the um, 25th Amendment. Yeah, 25th Amendment. So it was really interesting about this whole, they had an exhibit on like what happens when the president dies and then the president comes in and then they didn't really think about it before. And I think I heard Caspian or somebody was talking about this and they had it exactly right. Is that they, it, they wanted it to be somebody who had been elected. And I think Truman was kind of behind that. He didn't like the idea of the secretary of state, which is what it was, who was going to get in. It was secretary of state. And Secretary of State is appointed and not elected. So if Truman had died before they fixed this problem, it would have been the Secretary of State. Oh, yes. So um, they decided. Not necessarily. To According to. Uh, what did the, what did the um, museum say, Bill? Uh, it was a matter of uh, after the vice, the Congress would decide who was next. It, it wasn't anybody in particular. But Bill, our team wrote Secretary of State. Yeah. So did yeah. ours, so shut up. The <laughs> answer she's looking for We're wrong, for but is... we'll take the point. Okay. The answer she's looking for is Secretary of State. <laughs> uh -huh. All I, right. have, I, have, I have a screenshot. I'll, I'll, I'll yield. <laughs> it's still <laughs> wrong. Well. I could agree with you that then we'd both be wrong. The thing is, is that... <laughs> I took pictures of the exhibits so that I could make this category. Okay. So, and the exhibits uh, wrong. Well, then. Well, well, well the last exhibit showed all those dinosaurs. We all know that that made. It. <laughs> <laughs> According to the museum, which should be accurate. Okay, so then we, you guys, were doing a really good job counting your presidents, and he was number thirty-three. Yes. Very good. I saw Faith counting backwards. Wow. I'm impressed. I couldn't have done it. <laughs> no way. I, okay. Canadian Why? in our group knew better than us. <laughs> and question nine, I had I saw some groups get this spot on and some of you guys get it spot wrong. <laughs> it is, I'm from Missouri. Ugh. That's what I said. My team didn't believe me. Yeah. The other wow. ones made no sense. I'm from Missouri is what he said. And he really was from Missouri. And then the last one, I loved this question because you guys went back and forth. It was just like that game. It was like Princess Bride with the guy with a poison. Would Susan have said that? <laughs> would Susan, but but if Susan said that, powder. would it would she have moved it? No, Susan, would, is she trying to play Good question? It was you guys really got into this. And I know the team Janine was on is going to be pissed because the answer is yes, he was always a Democrat. Damn. Oh, I mean, technically, he wasn't a Democrat when he was born. No, but it's, <laughs> it's, 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 so here's that was what, what I, I said. Here's what born I born an atheist and non political. Here's what, it, here's what it said on the um, at the museum. It said that, I like that he attended the Democratic National Convention as a page in 1900, the year before he graduated from high school. Yeah. Later, oh, he before he was even able book. to vote, he was he was attending and and uh, being a page. The guy was just, you know, I'm sure there's pluses and minuses, but my gosh. Yeah, but when he was a haberdashery, I think he was a Republican. 
<laughs> they looked like one, didn't they? Yeah, they said a business owner. But you have to remember, this was um, this guy. Whenever he got into office, they he'd only met the president of the United States twice in person. Whenever he was when he was made vice president, they just put him in, and yeah. he didn't know anything about the bomb. Yeah, he really wasn't in the loop. He was Zippo in the loop. They came to him and said, uh, Mr. President, and he's like looking over his shoulder mm -hmm. to see who else they're talking to. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty bad because it was like 45 days into his presidency or something like that. And I want to share this last little thing. I copied this. This is Yikes. A, this is a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> that was they had a whole exhibit of like gifts that were given to him. And of course, he, he I love eat. that one. He didn't do a he didn't do a Thomas uh um the uh, Justice Thomas he did it did it have one middle tooth? I think it's just the coconut. Wait, who was no who... on the coconut? The coconut looks like it has like one centered tooth on the top. No, it had, oh. no, it had all the teeth. He has but, I know, but the space, you know what I mean? Like one tooth in the front. Let's see it again. Okay. Who who was that a gift from? Um, I will show you somebody in Hawaii or the, the coconut growers. No, it's the American from an unknown the American Puerto Dental Rican craftsman. It's from somebody Who? an unknown Puerto Rican craft. Oh, Puerto Rico. Thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody made yeah. it for him. Where they grow coconuts. Yeah, he has weird teeth. Oh, a bunch of teeth. And he uses Trump's makeup artist. But that there's one tooth centered on his nose, though. Get it? Yeah. Instead of the middle, I think it's hard, hard to tell from the angle. I think it's the angle I took it at. Hard to tell from the angle. He probably had a broken nose and it was crooked. So, so it was a fabulous, it was a fabulous. It's uh, actually quite quite the craftsmanship. Yeah, yeah it well, is. They gave carving, it to the president. Carving, coconut, you know, coconuts are hard. They are it, hard. It would be a you'll, hard thing to carve. Hard. So that is that is my, you got to share with my trip to the uh, museum i had a, a nice time I only spent a few hours there but i got really hungry and they didn't have any place to eat so i was like okay i gotta go home but um kansas city missouri it's in independence um no that's not independence is it Hannibal. Hannibal? yeah no it's not Hannibal. no that's not no it's independence independence oh, yeah okay. so yeah. caspian was there um 2002 yeah Caspian and uh, went with me in 2002 and then I went back this time and it's very interesting. I didn't get a chance to go to Truman's house. It was closed the day I was there. But anyway, let's do our our scores. Hope you enjoyed that little category and learned something about the president and that era. I, that's one of the reasons why I like presidential libraries. Okay, is it about or is it a boot? Did you catch up? We got seven. That's pretty darn good. You're tied. Iron Dome over Mar-a-Lago. Five. Okay. Ooh, you're all tied <laughs> for the moment. Let's go Oilers. Uh, we got eight. Okay, we'll oh. take the lead. For a minute. Uh, <laughs> RIP Willie Mays and Donald Sutherland. Who's next? Seven. <clears throat> Okay, let's see if it's a tie. Louisiana's new state motto. Six. Ooh, charging into the lead. Wow. Mm. Okay, so you got six point six in that one. I, I, I'm, I'm working for about five. So let's see if I can do it on the next category. <laughs> now this one I wrote today, about an hour before we started the game. And it's kind of similar to the one I did with the New York Times, except this one is about another newspaper I read every day, multiple times a day. I check in to see what's going on on WAPO. National Any other readers Wire. of WAPO? Yep. Subscriber. Yep. Okay. So Washington Post. This is according to <laughs> WAPO and it's today. So it's not WARPO. No, it's not WARPO. It's WAPO. And it's, so it's probably a lot of the information in here might be stuff that you would find in, in other places, NPR and, you know, other in places. All right. So these are kind of the same kind of questions where 
you might need to have a little more answer than just yes, no, or A, B, C, or whatever. All right. The ninth, the 2024 movie, Thelma, is a movie about what? So Washington Post did a review of the movie. Made me go watch. I, I went and watched the trailer. So give me an idea of what you think Thelma is about. It's the new movie. There's been other Thelmas, but this is the 2024 movie. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is another one. I had never heard of this. Kelly, the YouTube sensation whose 2006 musical sketch became one of America's first viral videos. Two decades later, Kelly performed the song again at a drag bar in L.A. Just happened. The video on X has been viewed 7 million times. The name of the song is just one word, and it's about the only word in the song. And what is the name of the song? So you either know this or you don't know this. You will not figure it out if you don't know it. And it looks like Faith has it. She's up on her <laughs> social media. Her drag bar gang, uh, drag, <laughs> 2006? Faith, you were like four years old. I was tw I was twenty two. Okay, I was old enough to buy alcohol, and I know this, and I will sing the song for you later. Well, I have a video that I'll show you. It's it's only like a minute long. Okay, question number three. And the Wapo, on a Sunday sunny Saturday morning at Woodstock Equestrian Special Park, and. Bellsville, Maryland. Hundreds of people gathered to play in what? They had an article about it in today's Washington Post. Question four. Known as a habab or haboob. Habu. This weather event is caused by severe thunderstorms that have carved a path more than 200 miles long in portions of New Mexico and Mexico yesterday. What is a habu? H-A-B-O-O-B. -O -O <laughs> These were all in, to in today's mm -hmm. Washington Post? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. They're all, in today. They're all stories in the Washington Post today. I, as I said, I wrote this about an hour before we started today. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I can tell because I've got several misspellings. Let me fix that real quick. Okay, this one might take me a second to explain. A family of four. The dad is 59. The wife is 55. The daughter is 22. And the son is 20. They intervened last week in Texas. They stopped a sexual assault happening in the store next to their business. What about this family made them unique to intervene? They stopped a sexual assault that was happening in the store. If it wasn't next to them, it was like within a few doors of their business. So the family was running a business and the assault was happening in another business. Very, very close. Move. Enough that they could hear something was going on, some screams. Uh -huh. And they were able to help and assist and make it stop happening. But what was it about this family that made them like the people that you would want to call on in this case? Something unique about them. I mean, there are other families like this and there are other people like this. It's not like. I think the question is perfectly fine as it. Okay, yeah, all right, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, question six. Gavin Newsom, for those who don't know it, is the governor of California. He has a lot of ideas, but lately he's been in the news, especially the Washington Post, with this idea. He wants to restrict what in schools? So this should pertain to what's current, like very current, like like Washington Post today, current. <laughs> hey. When was it, Susan? It, it was today. <laughs> it was only a few hours ago. Okay, question seven. What company pushes out Apple 
wait, what company pushes out Apple, Microsoft to become world's most valuable company? This has been in the what? news all over the place. What? There's a company that is now the world's most valuable company. What is it? It was Apple and it was Microsoft, but now uh, this other company is, is yeah, I might've worded it weird. Okay, okay. Apple and Microsoft, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Don't worry, we got this, Karen. Carol, I need to make these harder. Oh, here's one, this is harder. Okay, question eight. Vatican charges Pope critic Carlo Maria Vigiano with the crime of what? It's a crime to criticize the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> See if anybody figures out what he was he was charged with. The Papa. He's pissed. Okay, another really interesting article. What are boom mates? There's, you just describe it to me, whatever it is. <laughs> Some of these are interesting. Another spelling error, Susan. How did I misspell that? And that's what happens when you write the question so quickly. Okay. All right. Question 10. Pittsburgh City Council passed an emergency resolution to address fixing these, this item. They found they only have one of the one of these people, one of the people who could fix it on staff, which is a very serious problem to getting the thing fixed, the things fixed. So I can't tell you what the name of the person is or the type of person it is or anything about the person that they only have one of on staff because it would give away what it is that I'm looking for. So this just recently they had to pass an emergency resolution to address fixing this problem <laughs> I, I know the answer so it's easy but i can't imagine you guys coming up with these things willy-nilly so it so we'll see all right i look forward to listening to you discuss these don't overthink them <laughs> don't argue yourself out of the out of them and listen to the other people in the room because they may have the answer oops i just closed the rooms yes before i could open <sighs> okay so you're all going to come back here in a, in 108 seconds or whatever and then i'm going to put you back in your rooms otherwise you can get these done maybe you haven't done in two minutes what do you think well uh, maybe the other people in my uh one minutes in my group <laughs> will Okay. Well. Yeah, it's, it's saying everybody left. Only like people left. Yeah, I I hit the button and I thought I hadn't hit the button. And you can't send us to them. It's gonna close right now, and then I'll send you back. They're all gonna appear in a minute. Eighty three two seconds. They're gonna appear. That's a minute and a half. Eighty two seconds. Eight seconds. Tell them all quit. Shut all rooms immediately. But you guys could figure this out. Just, just talk, think about it for the moment. Read back on the questions. It'll make you quicker when you get in there. So we went to our rooms and it said breakout rooms will close in 120 seconds. Yeah, I right. actually not hit the button so twice. She, she closed them before. And then quickly closed them again and opened them before, before everybody right could now. get in. The button was just, I didn't, wasn't sure I hit the button and I hit the button again. Okay. So, so I will question, send you Number right one, now. is it Thelma or Thelma? Thelma. 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 Okay. That's okay. about it. Thelma without Louise. <laughs> she typoed it. He's typo? <laughs> oh, oh, gonna reopen where the room. Are we at the moment? I had to go. Main close. room. I have no way of going back to the breakout room now. Don't say anything right now. Can we get back? We're yeah. we're going to be sent back. Fifteen soon. seconds. Oh, you're waiting for them to 
Not we're all going to appear in a couple waiting seconds. Waiting for them to all return. And, and then they're all going to say, what? You decided to just come back early. Quick. And I'm going to say, yeah, I know. <laughs> just not everybody got to the rooms before Susan fat fingered something. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> I've never heard that phrase, Leonard. Okay. Well, what happened? What just Technically, happened? it's not a fat finger. What happened? All right. It's, yeah. a, it's a miss button press. Welcome back and goodbye. <laughs> All right, bye. Welcome back. Bye. Bye. Now we can join the ropes. Um, it's a dust storm. Dust storm. Yeah, I, thought, dust I thought storm. it was. I've been hearing about it. I thought it was a dust storm. Yeah, All right. I don't know a how storm. a dust storm carves a path in anything, but I will trust you. No, the dust storm did not carve a path. It says a series of thunderstorms that have been carving a path. Severe uh, thunderstorms. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Gavin Newsom wants to restrict cell phones in schools. Right. That's not. Oh, wait. Hang on. The no, hey, I skipped over. Well, well, the family some. that uh, that stopped the robbery were um, martial arts people. I'm trying to remember which one it was. That's what I. That's what I thought too. Oh. oh, I was thinking that they didn't have guns. Well, they don't. Um, I think it was, it was Taekwondo. Texas, right? I think it was Taekwondo. <laughs> Taekwondo. So did like... we get? Um, did we get something for the first three? Uh, not yes. for one. Oh, not not Thelma uh -huh. or Thelma. Right. None of us know anything about Selma. What's number two? Shoes. Shoes. Of course. Of course. And number three? We're guessing. Mud. Mud. We're guessing. Yeah, mud. Play in the mud. Excellent. <sighs> Carl? Right. 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 All right. Number two. Anyone know number two? No. Bummer. Let's look at it and guess. That's the one she said. There's no way you could guess. Oh, Neither Kelly, it. um, it's one word. It's one word over and over. Mm -hmm. Let's see. In a drag bar, um, yeah. But there's been some pop songs that only had one word. They repeat over and over again. A musical sketch. Two decades. I mean, I'm I'm like into. Okay. So you froze, Karen. I'm like into drag culture and stuff. How have I missed this? Oh, well. Okay, let's move on. People gathered to play what? Pickleball? Woodstock Equestrian Special Park to play in what? Not play what? Play oh, in play what? play in what? Like play in the water or play in the grass or play in the mud or... Hay? No, why would you play in hay? Woodstock Equestrian Special. No, I heard him wrong. Okay. Uh, vacation. Vatican charges somebody with a pulp crime? I had no idea. Anybody? Blasphemy? I don't know. I know, right? That's a good guess, I think. Well, we missed one because we changed it, so. Which, what number is that? That's eight. Eight. See, I haven't read these questions yet. What are boom mates? I've never heard of a boom mate. It's something to do with baby boomers who live with their parents and shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was like their um, boomer parents and their children living together. Right, right. Generations, because yeah. they can't afford to live on their own. Okay. My grandson lives with my daughter. She's, I am the boomer. My daughter's in her 50s, and one of her kids and his wife live in, um, in her home. And they, and that makes I, sense. That's a big, that's a big political issue right now is people not being able to buy homes. Mm -hmm. And being in Las Vegas, I understand that fully because I live on a block. That's a cul-de-sac with only six houses, and there are only two of us who actually own the houses. All the others are rentals 
They bought it during the housing thing and they rent them out and the people keep changing. Hmm. And I think that is, that is in this city an, a, a big problem. Uh, it's one of the things that uh, the senator is running on because people can't buy houses because these companies have all these houses and they're making a lot of money renting them. Okay. And they bought them really cheaply. I got a good buy on my um, house because I bought it at the right time. <laughs> yeah. The, um, the song, there was a guy who dressed up like a girl and he would say, shoes, shoes, shoes. And they would show all these different shoes. And then he would say things like, buy some shoes. And he was really, it was really funny. You That's think shoes the is the name of the song? You don't remember that shoes video? Shoes. Didn't see it. Shoes. S H O E S. One word fits. Yeah. Yeah, it was a guy dressed up looking drag, or either that or it was just a woman who looked like a guy, and walk around and point at different shoes. Shoes. And they would say things like, No, those are ugly, or something like that. They they had other words in it. Shoes. Buy some or something. There was all these other lyrics to it. Hmm. That's yeah, the original one. one. I don't know no about I don't know about seeing a new one recently, but that's the original. Shoes. Number 10. No, no, City yeah. Council passed an, an emergency resolution. A fixer. <laughs> what? What? <It's> light bulbs. <laughs> what are they fixing? I imagine know. it's got to be something that they have a lot of, which is why it's such a serious problem. They only have one person. Potholes? No, you you wouldn't need much expertise to fix potholes. Did she say anything about expertise? Well, she said they only have one of these people on staff, which is a serious problem in getting things fixed. So it has to be something obscure enough. Haberdasherist. <laughs> it could, it could be like broken traffic like lights or signs things. or something like that. Traffic signs or traffic lights. Something like that. Well, that's interesting. You know what I mean? Department of Works, the people who, who would fix a broken barrier or a street sign or a street light, something like that, who works on the Department of, you know, whatever. But why would the city as big as Pittsburgh not have somebody who can do that? Oh, there you go. And then the box could hide the sphere. So, but I had like the best vision, best view of it from my hotel. It was just like just lucked out. It was just right there. <laughs> Should they put a box? Well, let's put that down. Let's put that down and come back to it if we don't. If we have time. How far are you guys in? We have two more to do. Which so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna put this they need to fix horseshoes. Yep. Okay, and they only have one farrier on staff. <laughs> That's right. What what's what questions are you missing? Uh three and eight. Well, they need to fix the horseshoes so that they can so that the horses can walk through the uh the, the horse shit at the Woodstock. Oh, you, okay, fine, we'll put horse shit down for three. That's what oh you Oh my put. god. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the plug and give everybody two minutes. Okay. It's, we're really all right. And what, what what did saying? Carlo do? You either what know did these Carlo? or you don't know these. So yeah, yeah. Do we just want to put pedophile down for yeah. Carl? Yeah. Okay. So Carlo, not Carl. Maybe. She oh my God. Shoes. <laughs> oh my God, shoes. He desecrated what? Your okay, face. so I I'm, I'm I gotta find out. I'll try. Sure. Debbie. Hang on, I gotta ask my wife. I'm gonna I'm gonna find out uh, about that deli. I'm trying to remember. You got a minute and a half. Yeah. Well, otherwise we'll do it later. No, he's asking about a deli. Oh, I thought it was a question. In Chicago, no. it's just it's, it's, it's right. nothing to do with this category. Oh, okay. I got ninety seconds. I'm gonna go feed my screaming cat. What pizza should we go to? We should go get deep dish I pizza. Say. I would not thank you. Does he has a gaming channel? 
Mm -hmm. Is it in? I guess you can ask him if it is. Um, Manny's. Oh, okay. M-A-N-N-Y -N 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 apostrophe S. Something. It's on uh, Maxwell Street. And what what pizza place do you recommend? Uh, everybody says that has their favorites. Just you want, I guess you probably need to try that deep dish stuff. Uh, Giordano's, uh, Giordano's, Mol, uh, Malnati's. The pay you talk to everybody will give you a different name, but there are a whole bunch uh, down there. Uh, I need to go to one. Yes. You can get it by the slice, so we don't have to eat a whole pie. You can. You should. I. I think you can buy the uh, deep dish by the slice, but I'm not sure. But you can get one. They're not. They're not all that big. You know, just you're gonna have to. So you put some in your in your refrigerator in the hotel. You know, mm -hmm. but you absolutely have to. You do have to do the boat ride. Okay. The boat ride, the Art Institute, uh, the Field Museum is terrific. The the uh, National uh, uh, Natural History Museum is great. Uh, science and industry. Okay. Did you guys like that? Yes. I hope these have been a little different for you. A little bit different. I'm hoping that we're challenging people's different skill sets in different areas and not just all in one area. Hopefully. I got to start paying more attention to the Washington Post. I'm a subscriber, but I don't always. Especially if you know I'm going to have a turn next because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the, the, the movie Thelma is described by the Washington Post as a geriatric mission impossible. So I don't want you to obviously come up with that, but it's it's whatever it's a it's a woman, she's 94. She has a she lives alone and her phone rings and it's her grandson, she thinks, and they need ten thousand dollars to get him out of jail. Okay, so she goes and takes out the money and gives it to the scammers because it was a scammer and so then she's upset she goes to the police the police don't they're like well nothing you can do about it so what she does is she gets her grandson and she gets this guy who's in another rest home on his like a moped kind of not a moped but like a little scooter a motorized wheelchair and they go out a and do a mission impossible i guess they blow up some building or, or wherever the scammers are i don't know something's going on <laughs> I just saw the trailer. It looked terrific. And they said it's a lot of fun. But don't think too hard about it because apparently it's not quite possible. Realistic. Yeah, but they said it's we a really good time. Grandmother a... losing money to con artists as an answer. Yeah, so some, some if you said anything like that, then you that... said old, old woman who was scammed and trying to get it back. That That's good, yeah. And here's the link to the, the trailer, which is pretty easy to find. Okay. The next one is um, several people knew this one right off the bat, and I'm so pleased. I've never heard of it until today. And the article in the Washington Post on this is really great because this guy did this video 2006 when he was young, he says. And then they somebody found him out of somewhere and said, could you come back and do it? And he was so nervous. He kept practicing, practicing. And he didn't know if people would really be excited about it or not, but it's very short. I will show it to you really quick. It's, um, uh, yeah, I'll show it very quick and you can see what you think. So it's a, it's a. Oh, I'm wrong. That guy's not snatched to the gods. No, <laughs> he showed the original. It's way better. Shut up! Stupid boy! Stupid boy! 
I think we get it, Susan. We haven't got to the flaming hula hoop part. <laughs> I've never seen this before, so no, the original that I've never seen that one. The original is way. Better. I'll have to look at the original, but but the. So what is he saying? Like, what is he shoes. saying? Shoes. 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 These shoes, shoes. Rule. shoes rule. These, these shoes, shoes suck. suck. These shoes rule. Oh. These shoes suck. Oh and, my God! And, let's and go get some shoes. Where I am doom scrolling and reading like what's constantly the about the war and what's going on with the election and the debate. Oh my God, I needed that video. I'm sorry. That was just- You need a, to see the original. It's way Adult and pleasure. And, and just the article about oh, this, yeah. this- Hey, Kevin is, the, Kevin, is the original better? <laughs> way better. <laughs> yeah, way. It's your comedy. It's Did you ever play that in the symphony yet, Alan? <laughs> That's right. Okay, so what I'm saying <laughs> is, I'm gonna get the point of the lyrics. What's the significance of shoes? I, I it, don't it's the one. sketch starts out with Kelly's parents, her and her twin are getting birthday presents, and they just give her some money or something, or they give her the stupid like pop the magic dragon looking thing, and she's just like, "Fuck you guys, I'm gonna go buy some shoes." Yeah, and Kelly's a picture her. of Kelly's a guy. Of George Bush in their mouth, up. and it's her mom drag. loves Tom Skerritt. That's <laughs> Apparently, okay, so as I said, I, article, I still don't get it. The article from Washington Post says, you know, this was just something he did and it just went viral. And then he went, he, he's married with kids, you know, and he doesn't, this isn't his thing. They found him, they, they, somebody Picked managed to find him and asked him to reprise this role for Pride Month. And it's and like he, the Britney thing where they, he was super scared Britney about alone, doing it. One. And, it's just a charming article about this phenomenon that apparently was a thing. Anyway, okay. Here's here's the link. Here's the link. The original one with sixty-seven million views. Damn. Just play it. Just 60, play it. No, I'm not gonna play it. No, you could look at it. It's from I'll seventeen it years later. ago, and it's sixty-nine million views. So apparently, oh wow, I just opened. very popular. Okay. So here we go. Moving on to our categories. The next one is they're playing in the mud. So no, it oh, wasn't. Oh, it was yeah. a mud. Yes, it's right. mud. Alan, we should have gone with what it's I had. Down. Horseshit. We were thinking horseshit, but uh, yeah, I figured. And we switched to mud. Good, well, but, that's processed yeah. mud. That's why I've done liked, that. Nobody, nobody would. The horse. No part. one would line up to do that. Well, no, wait a minute, Deborah. This is America. You know that there's no one who would. Of course they would. Um, oh, we're not as crazy as Japan, though. We're not as crazy as Japan. Well, okay. So the yeah, next it's all a matter of perspective. is, okay, a haboob, hab, habob is a dust storm. Habu. We take a, a dust storm. storm. The ginormous dust, dust storm. storm. Dust storm. Yeah. It's so big that it made the Washington Post. Okay. How big is it? That big. A Washington Ooh. Post big. So um, big. Right? Otherwise known as Warpo. 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 <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently it's a North African word. W-A-R oh. capital P-O. That would make sense if it was North African. Day. Yeah. The, the storms. Okay, so the next one, I a couple people got this right. They read about it or heard about it somewhere. All four have black belts and they run a Taekwondo school. So Yay, Leonard, oh. who even remembered it was Taekwondo. So whatever you guys, if you have anything that's close to that, get the point. I mean, they're, I mean, they're the movie in the making in this story. I wouldn't good, doubt it. Good, good yeah. for them. Maybe even well, the rare TV thing series. is they were in Texas and they didn't have guns on them. Yeah, yeah. they didn't need them. <laughs> but so it, was they, pretty, um, it was pretty frightening what was happening. It was pretty awful. So if you read the article, you'll go, oh my gosh. So they... Um, they're quite the heroes. I'm yeah, sure. they heard screaming and they ran over and they all four just dealt. So what was the business where an assault is happening, right? In a business. Um, I think it was like a it's a gun shop. Cell phone shop or <laughs> you know, it was just some like strip mall kind of it was uh Zed's... what was that department store in New York where Trump uh yeah. you know <laughs> Oh no, that was a high end. It's department. not unusual for assault to happen, especially when there are females closing up. Bergdorf Goodman. Yeah, there you go. Bergdorf yeah, I don't Goodman. think it was a highly trafficked store. It was like selling batteries. It seems just yeah, it seems bizarre to have no, that's a common place for wow, people that's really, really depressing. 
Zed's yeah, pawn yeah, shop. If it's it, like at closing time, <laughs> it was. I don't think it was closing, but it was. Um, it was one out of probably many that always happened. This is just one that got caught. So it was. It's. It's again. It's an interesting story about people doing things and you. You know, caught in a situation. Well, um, and about could have ignored the screams. Yeah, they, about uh, you know little heroes i mean yeah mom uh, dad sister and brother they unsuspecting heroes this kind of reminds me of those what were they swedish bicyclists that stopped that rape in stanford a couple yeah. years ago yeah never mind that was just another okay. story so but they just six. happened to be bicycling by and and stopped a rape in process mm -hmm. and there were tourists you know anyway you never know these, when these little un to be when hero. these these accidental heroes come along. It's 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 touching. Mm -hmm. Gavin Newsom wants to restrict cell phones. They're saying that they want. They said you want to remember. You want to know what it was like to go to school in the nineteen nineties. <laughs> now the nineteen eighties. Oh yeah, the eighties, seventies, seventies, sixties. Well, a lot of schools them. already have pretty strict rules. Some are doing this, but this is a state. Rules wide yeah but a sweet statewide rule would be it would be would be novel but a lot of okay. schools yeah. already instituting their own rules Question our seven. province is doing it who our, our province, province yeah. Alberta. i think it might be a good idea mm -hmm. oh i think it's a very good idea it's a company that it's in the idia and video video ai company i know robin's <laughs> loving that they do and chips yeah, yeah. Oh, they do they robin Graphic i think all ships. they do is spend their time making ai bird photos no they just supply the people who make do that yeah well they're Along making with people they're making who do it like everything else videos I, about shoes i lost my audio on number six what was number six cell phones cell phone oh good yeah okay okay number eight um he the crime is called schism right good in other words he's trying to stir up um like a revolt no, he's trying to him. split the church in two yeah well it's a revolt against you know a, uh like us so it's not pedophilia it's not blasphemy it's he's trying to well, well if it, it was pedophilia blasphemy, they actually. wouldn't uh they they wouldn't charge him they yeah. promote him <laughs> yeah, that's true. yeah they, they'd make that's him a, a cardinal yeah. so if you have anything that's related call it cardinal to sin causing a, a like a civil a, a break of the of the organization that is the church not somebody who's doing some like alcoholism or anything like that this is something different it's, okay. it's actually not a, an individual crime no no uh, but yeah, that's what he's no. being charged with okay so, used to say hey sister got any dirty habits oh so number nine what are Ooh. boom mates the only room i heard talking about this got it right it is boomers that are sharing homes with other like generations or roommates it could be, that are boomers. Yeah, it's it could not be people, roommates yeah, that's Karen. been misspelled. Mm -hmm. it, no. So it I could think be, it's a pun. It's a pun. It could be multi-generational people or who share bomb. Sharing a you're sharing a house with somebody. <laughs> it's whenever you have to not only for for affordability reasons, but also for having somebody in the house with you or so my wife and i are boom mates no because <laughs> no, you're there married you this is this is a big this phenomenon is... that's happening that the aging boomer population they're noticing yeah somebody to take are care starting of to get your grandchildren move it's in with karen, you it's karen it's not just that it's they're getting divorced they're finding it harder to do things on single incomes and so they're creating boom mates you're you're kind of creating a little family of sorts even if it is family or sometimes there's not family but it, you're kind of creating a a structure that looks after each other like we um, did in I college know. now decades later yeah but it's more like the boomer generation whose kids can't afford a house so mm -hmm. they still live with their parents well yeah that and maybe and grandchildren and so three living generations here. in a house so you i'm living here it's my wife and I brought in our good friend because she couldn't drive anymore in Michigan. And she's been living with us now for over 20 years. And we consider her kind of family. And I love this because now I have, when people say, who is she? I can now call her a boommate. And she's a boommate. 
Then you're going to have a long right. explanation about that. Right. So that's. Well, I, they always ask me what our relationship is because it looks like three women living together and it's not. Well, you are three women living together. <laughs> we are, but it's not. We're married it's to not each other. Together. It's, it's not, not a, a boom, trouble. chicka, chicka kind of boom, mate. <laughs> You're not a trouble. <laughs> a boom, chicka, boom. <laughs> boom, chicka, chicka, boom. <laughs> yeah, well, I want you to tell everybody who asks you. <sighs> you turn. Curly boom, Larry chicka, and chicka, boom. <laughs> Early and then they come see me when the it's not working out yeah. and they have to evict the roommate the boom how do we evict this person okay how do so I get rid of the roommate with it and, and there's a good the article on that in the washington post today okay almost done water fountains uh, they're almost okay, so all not oh to fix in, them in, right in pittsburgh city pittsburgh. what about water features for which the city is responsible for maintaining well we mentioned water fountains in there we mentioned that as one of the things uh, okay i'll yes. give you that because as, and they're saying look there's a heat wave on and people can't find a working water fountain and they yeah, have I... one plumber yeah, well, we did say yeah, plumber. I, I the saw plumber, the story. We did say plumber, and, and we said talked plumber. about this. Plumber has to be the answer because of the way the question is worded. That's fine. That's fine. I just couldn't say plumber because then it would give it away more or less. Right. So it's not traffic lights. Hey, well, and it's. I mean, isn't it a specialized plumber? It's not like the city only has one. It's no, just, they have only one. They only have one that can, can fix these particular public water fountains. Water fountains. And they're having a hard know, time I, getting it hired really quick. Well, they probably have the, plumbers that can fix the toilets in the government building, but not these fountains. Yeah, but plumbing isn't exactly rocket science. If you well, can fix but, the toilet in a sink, uh, you in the city, there's, it's, there's always... It's a skill. It's a real skill. And you got to know, they probably have parts they have to go get. Well, like, again, you know. the plumber that you hire to fix your toilet is not one that can do a public fountain, so... I, I yeah, I could see that. Be. Ordering I mean, those parts, well, finding the parts because they're not yeah, finding the parts. The parts. And, you know, we just actually replaced a, a mechanism in a water fountain oh. at the park, and it took yeah. a few, two or three weeks just to get the part. But the rangers are able to do the replacement. So okay, we here we go. A plumber, <laughs> let's go scores. Wow. All right, we've got anywhere from it's fifteen awful. to twenty-two. So let's see how wow. we do. Iron Dome over Mar-a-Lago. Uh, even with the boom mates yeah we got that one. <laughs> oh good <laughs> is it about or is it a boot six well okay let's go oilers i believe we have a 10 we do wow. have a 10 we wow. have a 10 damn wow. I know you're washington Post. that's a big move damn. i think leonard's <laughs> been reading it huh <laughs> I saw a lot of those. Yeah, Louisiana state motto, new state motto. Nine, nine, nine. Oh, oh. Okay, and R.I.P. Willie Mays. Ten. Dang, oh, another wow. reader, another group of readers from the Washington Post. Okay. We are severely locked in last place. So you ready for the bonus? <laughs> oh yeah. You know. One of my favorite games is Wordle. a rule that you guys all hate. Wordle. No, not that. But bear with me. It'll be fun. So you have 32 possible answers. Now, I'm excited about PsyCon. I know a lot of you guys are excited about PsyCon. Some of you may not be so excited about PsyCon. You're not going. But you might have looked at the website. So what we've got is there's 32 possible answers of who is on the schedule. And I'm talking about on the schedule in the, in the, the syllabus Speakers. on the website. So the circles, they have a circle and it says a person's name. And there's 32 circles with pictures on there. 34, I'm sorry, 34. People with photos on the website. So, so. They might be doing a presentation. They might be doing a full-on lecture. They might be doing a workshop. I don't know. I'm not going to say anymore, but there's 34 pictures on that website. So you're going to go to your room. You're going to pick out 10 mono rules. 
Ah! Uh, you can't do model rules because oh, I didn't even get 10. No one's going to score more than Are three. Are you kidding? No because problem. She's got, got her Tam shirt on. This woman's already ready. So there's going to be somebody in the room who's going to be able to pull 10. Yeah, but with model rules, there's only 30. Did you say Five mono teams. rules? Yeah. What's a mono rule? <laughs> okay, so what's going to happen is you're going to come back from choosing 10 and you have to use strategy because you know that some people are all going to say the same person's name because they're the headliners or the obvious people who are going to be speaking. But if you choose the obvious answer, then other people will choose the obvious answer. And you or won't get a not. point because you're only going to get the <laughs> point if nobody else chooses the same name, same one you have. Wait so, a minute. Would you please repeat the the category? Because I walked away from my computer for okay. a moment. So Psycon has a Psycon. schedule of speakers. Yeah. Okay. There's 34 names on the schedule of speakers. And they're not exactly speakers, all of them. But they all, but there are 34 people with photos on there that says, you know, come to Psycon and these are the people who are going to be doing stuff at Psycon. And there's 34 photos. So you guys are going to choose 10 of those people you think are on that schedule. But you choose wisely because you only get the point if nobody else chooses it. That's my. Oh, is it 34 or 32? Because you changed it. There's five sorry. teams. How is that fair? That means nobody's going to get a perfect score. No, no. No, no one's going to get more than four or five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, that's, that's what Susan wants. That 32, that excludes the Sunday papers, right? They haven't been named yet. So the Sunday, the people who are going to go do their individual Sunday paper presentations are not on the list. Thank you for asking, Jane. So those people who are going to walk up and do a talk, their their picture's not on there because we haven't chosen them yet. So can we go to the website and look at the picture and pick the names from there? Nope. Darn. But even if you did, it's not going to help you because it's mono. It's going to help me if I don't know any of them. Well, <laughs> you could come up with two and that might be the only points you have. I could say so, like Mr. Smith, Mr. Jones, Mrs. Smith, Mrs. Jones. No. Okay. So when you, before you come back. Is Gusan Serbic going to be there? No. Do the <laughs> UFO stuff? Before you come back, you need to appoint one person in your room. And I'm going to call in you guys individually. And, and I just want one representative from each room to answer. That's the only way you can do mono rules to judge it. Others will be here all night. And I don't think you want to be here all night. So. We are, we've made a rule once that you can't do mono rules unless mono's here. <laughs> yeah. Have fun. I'm looking forward to listening to you guys talk. Oh. Quick. Quick. I know about it. Do you see my list? Yep. Yeah. I know those people are going to be there, but yeah, I Yeah, number one and two are the only off. ones I know. The first two yeah. are the only so ones. So one I and two. Oh, I would have got banner check if you would have mentioned um, it. Yeah, um, banner check. And, uh, Melanie Tressa King. Again? Yes, Melanie. But, yeah, I think she's. Yeah, I think so. But oh. everybody's going to have Neil and everybody's going to have Brian Cox. Yeah, I think. exactly. Yes. And banner check. Kevin Volta. But who do you have to have instead? Anybody who's on Other the list. People. Well, who do yeah. you remember on the list? I gave you the people yeah. I remember. Well, we were just saying Melanie Tracy King. Melanie. Evan Folta. Mel well, Melanie Tracer King. Yeah. Tracer. These are people I didn't know, so I didn't pay that much attention. <laughs> who else? No. Melanie spelled different. Melanie Tracy King. Yeah, and Barry Carr's not a speaker. He's yeah, he's, and I don't think he's. He doesn't yeah. have to be a speaker. He just has to be some sort That's of. That's what she said. Was people oh, okay? Oh well, yeah, he's and his last name is spelled with a K. Yeah. Would George Rab make the list? Is yes, George yes, he is. 
George what? George Harab. Oh, -A -B. yeah. He, he, he should be there for sure. So Kevin Folta. Kevin. Tell me the last name. Folta. Spell for me. Coin's going to be there. Jerry Coin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who who's giving the? Oh, well, we're gonna win the this workshops. Round. It's Chip uh, and Grace. Yeah, what's Denman? it call us? The Denmans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Chip and Grace Denman. Uh, because I was looking at it the other night. Who else? Um, there's a Chris, uh, Chris French. Um, they mentioned him on. Uh, they mentioned that he was going to be there on the. Squaring the Strange podcast. Oh. Okay. And then there's, and Susan's going to be there. Yes. Susan. Is Rob, I mean, Rob's going to be there, but is Rob doing any presenting? He's not on the, he's not going to be on the list because if he does something, it'll be. I a, know he's organizing Sunday the paper. Sunday papers. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. But if you know those names, and if you know those names, um, some other people will also. So I think we should go I, ahead and put I can, one, I, I, at least one of the real popular common names. I I doubt very much many. Well, the pro the 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 problem is, well, Susan's doing the round, so we don't have to worry about Susan knowing any of the answers. So, uh, I, I there's a lot of names I just doubt. Ah, oh, thanks a lot. Anyone will know. <laughs> Yeah, but they've got to be in this little the graphic that she's talking about. Yeah. So, so look, let's, so Neil deGrasse Tyson, somebody's going to think we're going to do Neil deGrasse Tyson because no one's going to do Neil deGrasse Tyson. So let's not do Neil deGrasse Tyson. I agree. Okay. What about Melanie? People will think, oh, Melanie was just at the other thing. Everybody knows her. We won't put Melanie. I think we should put Melanie. Well, first of all, I I suspect the number of people that will actually know even 10 people appearing there is pretty small. But the ones that do, like you, they will put the most obscure. Don't you think we should put a little variety? Well, so I would say I'm thinking of all the people who are playing tonight. The one most likely to know all the names I know is Leonard. Because he's on the board, so he'll probably know every single name that I know. He's probably the only other person that will know these obscure names. Okay, so should we put Novella, Novella, and Dunham and Dunham? Denim. Denim. -E uh I would we could put both Chip and Grace Denim. Okay. Um I would put Stephen Hupp. Are you saying Hupp with a P or with an H U P P H U P P, the editor of Skeptical Inquirer magazine. Okay. Um, I still think we should put Melanie. Uh, I I will. I mean, you could take her off if you want, but since I think it, well, since this is a joint venture, you are. I will definitely concede you have just as much right to put names on this as I do. Well, so because Melanie Traffic King. she's been recently posted a lot on Susan's page. So I think some people will say, oh, everyone will put her. And I, 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 you, I know Ray Hall, and I can't imagine that I would have missed knowing that he was going to be there. Do you know he's going to be there? He's normally there. Now well, I don't know if his picture. Now. But I think his picture was up. But I could be wrong. I could be remembering from we, another we year. We know that these people are there. But just keep oh. adding to the bottom of the list, and we can always scratch them out later. Yeah, we can decide what to scratch out. Okay. For the most obscure. I think we have a spy amongst us. Uh -oh. Hi, Susan. It's the, the boggle rule, Susan. Invented it before Mono did. No, did they? That was the one where there was the, like the, the letters are all on like little dies and they had no exactly right. you roll yeah. it yeah and you roll shake up. it up and then yeah and then you have the little timer you flip over right yeah. a little yeah. timer yeah. you have okay. to come up with as many words 
start yeah. with that letter in that category. That was, like, that was actually kind of a fun game. It was yeah, a I, lot of it was a lot of fun. Um, my my my, my brother and sister and my sister's boyfriend and I we used to we used to play there a lot. I don't know why we stopped. Um, Anyone else knows this list? Because I'm thinking no. Leonard. You thinking Leonard? Leonard so, would know Jerry Coyne. But he'll know Michael Mann. I okay. Mean, Absolutely. So it's basically a toss-up of what we leave. Yeah, I mean, Leonard probably knows them all. I don't know if anybody else is going to know them all as well as uh, he does and Susan. So what day do you plan on leaving, Alan? Oh, well, I don't know. What is it? What what days are, what days of the week? It it's like starts that. on Thursday, I think. Uh, let, let me let me put my virtual background up for when I'm doing the interviews for uh, Psycon. There you go, 24th of the 27th. Yeah. So that's what Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. So I don't know. So I, I will, will arrive on Tuesday and leave on Monday, and I highly recommend leaving on Monday because we all that, go to breakfast together on Monday. Okay, so we we leave a little bit. Yeah, because I was thinking maybe we would do we would do that. Mm -hmm. um uh, what's is is there do we want to be there for the whole day on on the first day do you... thursday we the, party, there. the party starts when we get there so i'm probably going to be there on tuesday it's going to be a blast you just go and you hang out with friends you're going to be hanging out like with trivia people so it's I'm a going, i know i know I'm that when, no, no, no. Wednesday, i'm right. planning on going um i'm gonna i'm gonna probably room with avi so th uh, thursday thursday starts with work parties in the steiner room in the morning uh, uh, the, the, workshops. Con, the main part of the conference doesn't start till seven o'clock at night. I think it is maybe a little early that oh. we got there. Like we last time we got yeah. there, I think on Tuesday. And uh, but there's workshops earlier that day from early in the morning. You sign up for those separately. Like Kenny. And what, what do you do at a work? What do you do at a workshop? You got to read the descriptions. They're all different. All right. yeah. Okay. Um, they will sell I'm more, out I'm more interested just hearing the speakers than than probably anything else. Right. So, um, but you know, so we'll figure out. I'll see what Rob, what Avi wants to do. Yeah. So, so you can go to the main website, uh, Alan, and and there's two things. One list, the which is the list Susan's working off here. It shows the speakers, and it says under them what they're doing. Unfortunately, you can't click there and go to what they're doing because it's a stupid website design. I've told them this five times, and they never change it. You can go back up to the menu and then go to schedule and you can find each of the things and read the details. Why they don't have them hyperlinked together? Because they're incompetent. Sorry. Okay. I mean, I, if, anything, if anything, we I, I, I want to go and I think we're on it the same way. We just want to go and meet all you guys some more, more than anything else. And, you know, the, oh. the, uh, the, the, the conference is almost on the side to everything. Yeah. I mean, that somebody has said, maybe Susan, you know, people go for the speakers, but return for the for the uh, you know the the friendship socialization. Stuff. Like we're trying yeah. to figure out, do we want to? Because we we're, we're going to be in Chicago, so we're trying to figure out, do we want to fly back to Raleigh and then fly oh. back out to Las Vegas? What's in What's in Chicago then? I'm running the Chicago Marathon on October 13th. Wow. So and we're we our flight right now has us coming back to Raleigh on the 19th, but I'm trying to decide do we just want to like extend it four more days? Uh-huh. And then just fly from Chicago to Las to Las You Vegas. gotta you gotta find a place to do laundry. <laughs> yeah, you can do it like the We don't want you all stinky coming, Faith. I well, I, have, I, I can wash my underwear like in a sink, Susan. I did it when I, I was do it. That's um, how I do my I, I would have bought <laughs> I would have offered up our 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 laundry room, but we're we're too far out of town. Well, uh, we we're we're staying at a hostel right now, like I'm for part of the trip, and they have laundry facilities. Where did you know? Wart's gonna be there. I didn't notice him, and I would have looked for him. Oh, okay. So we'll take it off Ray Hall. Yeah, let's take off Ray Hall. Just because we the don't know question, he's going to the be there. We now have 10 mind. people we're very confident are going to be there. The only question in my mind is either eight Steve Novella or eight Vanacek. You guys. Decide. I agree with you. Those are more popular names, but we, we, we don't know any more obscure names that we know are going to be there. Right. You I know. I'm just saying, name that you know would you want to change, there? cross out eight and put in Vanacek? That's my only concern. Which would you like better? 
has a chance to win a point. Steve Novella. We, we can't Bandit put Club. cross one out unless you add one. Who are you going to add instead? I just said, take off Steve Novella and replace him with Banachek or leave it as is. Who would you most likely score a point with, Novella or Banachek? I think I Banachek think is less point. likely to be remembered than Novella, but if you think we should do it the other way. I don't care have... what you guys do. I'm just pointing that. That's the only thing I'm pointing out. Well, we have one minute. What do the rest of you think? Do you want Banachek or Steve Novella? Kevin has a good argument. Robin Blumner. I like Banachek. Can you correct the spelling on Robin Blumner? Yeah, I'm worried about the spelling right now. You want Banachek? We'll put Banachek in instead of Steve Yeah. Novella. Yeah. I think I have a feeling that people are going to have both those guys on anyway. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. Unless they're thinking the same thing that they, they if need. If somebody scores really a point there. with Neil deGrasse Tyson, I'll be pissed. Yeah, <laughs> right. But I guarantee you. I can remember you when we first did mono rules and nobody, it was African countries and nobody did South Africa because everybody said what we're all saying. And right. nobody had it. And then and I've done it a couple about times. It and nobody had it. I did a couple times where I said, let's pick five that everybody's going to pick, and let's pick five that nobody's going to pick. And we scored like three points. It didn't make much of a difference. And I did it twice yeah, that it, That's the problem with Manana Rose. That was so interesting to watch you guys do it. I, I'm really impressed. You guys got some good names on there that I didn't think. People would remember. Well done. And some people. of them are even going to Psychon. And some <laughs> will be going to Psychon. Susan, I, I, I knew the feeling that you had when when I did the category where you knew them all because I registered for Psychon today. <laughs> <laughs> My team was phenomenal. I was the weak link. I didn't know any. I knew two. And I know everybody. Yeah, there's Kat. She's got her postcard. And Kat, oh, that so last name, name that you said, that's not. he's not on our list. We had like 16 names. We had really? Wow. I, I came up with about 27 got... names. Yeah, <laughs> but guys, don't forget there's mono rules. So, right. Yeah, uh, exactly. He's too okay. well known for mono rules. So, <sighs> okay, you guys, the take same. a deep breath. This is always I, I, have, I, have I have one a... word for you, um, Robin Egypt. Egypt? You're talking about the when we did the mono rules for, the, for Africa. And nobody. Oh. Could... Yeah, yeah nobody so did Egypt, and nobody did South did Africa either. They did South Africa, South either. Africa, because everybody thought they'd pick South Africa. Yeah, yeah. you're our spokesperson. I'm very glad to see that most of you guys. We know there are really good understanding in Africa. Everybody came up with ten names easily, and you guys were worried you wouldn't even come up with ten. That was so. so we Alan, had to narrow down. Mm -hmm. That means Alan we revealed, barely made ten. Alan revealed in our breakout room that he is uh, likely coming, and he asked about what these people are all talking about. So, uh, Alan, I have about half of these people on my list to interview them before the conference. So be uh, be on the lookout for my interviews. Yeah, with you guys. Well, Alan says he's coming to see the other trivia people and hang out with us. <laughs> I heard <laughs> that Keanu Reeves is going to be there as a special guest. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So then I might sell a kidney to actually be able to afford to go. <laughs> okay, here's gonna how we're going to do this. Yeah. Here's how we're going to do this. All right, everybody's paying attention. I am going to call on the, the team that has the lowest score, and Ooh. I'm going to have them tell me their 10 okay, names is. slowly, slowly. And then I will tell you if they're on the list or not, because they may not even be on the list. And some people, you will be surprised, who are not on the list, that you would assume would be on the list. And um, if then each person in turn, each group in turn is going to tell me if they have that name also. So the first person who's going to give me their names is going to go take a minute. But by the fourth group and the fifth trivia group, it'll go really fast because we'll have already kicked them off. We've done this a bunch of times, you guys. We can do this. Okay. You just have to have control. So everybody has a representative for their team, right? Yeah, you're doing hear, it for us, Robin. I don't want to hear from anybody else. Just Rob, you gonna do ours? Yeah, I'm you can unmute myself. yourself, Robin. Since I since I wrote the list, yes. Okay, here we go. So the team that's in the in the last place is Iron Dome over Mar-a-Lago. So who's your representative? Me. And okay, Gail. Uh -huh. So. Slowly tell me the name of the person who's on your list. Okay, Forrest Valkai. Uh, he is on the list. We had him. 
Okay, now if you are a team that has the name on there, it's your tell us. Yeah, we had him. Okay, so you do not get the point, Gail. Okay, next. Chip Denman. Got him. Okay, you do not get the point. Melanie Tracker King. We got her. You do not get the point. George Robb. He is not attending. He's and not we got attending? him. He's okay, not attending. So you have, it doesn't matter. You have George Robb on the on your on your list. Take him off. He's not attending. Yep. He's not going to be the MC this year. Kevin Falta. Yes, he will be there. We have him. And we have him too. Take him off your list. Michael Mann. We have him. Same here. Jim Underdown. Got him. Do too. Banachek. We have him. Same here. Craig Foster. He's not mm, playing. I don't think is he's he? this year. Is he on the list? I don't think so. I don't remember him on the list. No, I don't oh. think so. Unfortunately, I would love to have him there, but he's not. And Robin Blummer. Got her. So, okay, Gail, I think, I think that adds up to zero. Wow. This is, this is the beauty of mono rules. The beauty, huh? Yeah, Say I love it. mono rules. Status. <laughs> I think it's, I love it. Okay. So, the next team is, is it a bout or is it a boot? So, who on your list have has not been crossed off? So we only had one crossed off from there. That was Forrest Valkai. So the other nine we have are uh, Nick Tiller. We have him. Oh. Uh, Rena Raphael. Point. You have a point. <laughs> Oof. And Andrea Love. I love that name. Point. Point. Raymond Hall. Ray Hall. Got him. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, we wouldn't have gotten that point. Gail. We wouldn't have. We, wouldn't have we have that. Raymond. <laughs> Na Natalia Pasternak. Uh, we have her. <sighs> Crossing her off my list, too. Uh, Jerry Coyne. We have him. We, we have him. I forgot. Eddie Tabash. Got him. Damn you. <laughs> <laughs> Leanne Lord, the MC. She will not be an MC. She will not what? be there. What? Did this change? Oh, man. She was on oh, the list. Oh, I like her. Who's going to MC? Who's MCing then? I won't say until until we've got all the points in. Okay. <laughs> uh, Leanne Lord's not there anymore. Oh, that's weird. Uh, and uh, me. We took you off. <laughs> you raised her Robin, hand. Did you have him? What? Robin, did we have him on our 10? No, we did not. Okay. Yes. I was told that nobody in trivia was going to be there. I I told him to take Rob off and put George Rob on. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, so we how got, many points? We got three? three. That might be the main score. That might be the high score. Yeah, it might be the high score. Okay, I can't believe so, they took Leanne Lord off. That's weird. She yeah. had a um, conflict. Uh, Something happened that she couldn't. She couldn't uh, do it. I that's don't. That's why I said it. Keanu Reeves is the the new. So guy. all right, wait, wait. So is the secret that Faith is going to be the MC now because she's got the experience? I think Faith would do a fantastic <laughs> job. Uh, ask, Faith, ask Queen Elizabeth. Faith, Faith. Ask Faith. Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. Score, score, scores. Go, <laughs> okay. go as Queen Elizabeth. I as Queen Elizabeth Faith would be superb. Okay. <laughs> so we all know that. Okay, so let's go, Oilers. Okay. Um, so I'll start with the three that have been eliminated. We had Melanie Trachek King, Jim Underdown, and Natalie Pasternak, Natalia Pasternak that have been now eliminated. So we got seven more. Susan Gerbick. Is she gonna be there? Uh, you have a Leonard point. Said, huh? Nobody else picked me. <laughs> Not that yet. Was too, that was too obvious. I. You have a point. Yay! Uh, Bertha Vasquez. Yep. You have Carl. Did okay. you guys team have it? Yes. Okay. I had her. Okay. I'll so cross her off. 
Massimo Bellucci. I got him. <laughs> Carl's got about 40 names. So <laughs> Stephen Hupp. But yeah, you have to you have to settle on 10 names. <laughs> I think you've crossed off more than 10, Carl. No, I got two left. <laughs> Stephen Hupp. Yeah, I got Get another point? No. no. no, no. Stephen no. Hupp is on my list. Okay. Our list. Yeah. But we're, list. we're 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 interfering with your points too, Carl. Yeah. Evan Bernstein. Who? Evan Bernstein. <laughs> Nobody important. <laughs> a point, I think though. you have a point. I got a point. I got a point. Kara Santa Maria. Oh, I thought all the FDU people would be too obvious. And you went for the another point. point. Tim Caulfield. Oh, yes. Wow. The finish is strong. <laughs> <laughs> that may put us in first place. One, two. So we've got. We've got four points. Dang, you did good. That's oh, what that's I spoilers. Okay. Um, Louisiana's new state motto, theocracy all right. for all. I got two names left. Grace Denham. Mm -hmm. Point. You got a point? And Bob Novella. <sighs> you got a point. Two points. We almost had him on our list. I, I picked the most obscure novella. <laughs> oh no, you uh, didn't. Don't, don't don't tell him that. Well, the most obscure novella that is on the FGU. <laughs> no, you didn't. Don't, don't tell him that. And also, <laughs> I guess and, I better not send this recording to them. And also, Carl rattled off almost all the names we've heard so far, and we narrowed it down to ten. Okay, so R.I.P. Willie Mays and Donald Sutherland. Who's next? Fingers crossed. We got four names left, so I'm assuming none of them are actually going to be at the thing. <laughs> so we started with Brian Cox. Yeah, yeah. he'll be there. He's a okay. future speaker. Anyone else? That's Do we have a Kenny Cox? Biddle? Kenny Biddle will be there. Yes, that's a point. We're oh, obviously okay. going for the obvious ones that figured no one else would yeah. choose. We, we, now we, we got a Dr. Tiller. I don't have a name, a first Nick name. Tiller. That's already been he's already been mentioned. Yeah, no, yeah, he's already Nick been Tiller, mentioned. Though. Yeah, Tiller? Nick Tiller. Yeah. Oh, okay. Miss Ellen. Okay. And Stuart Vice. I don't think he's speaking. He'll be yeah. there, but he won't be speaking. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember yeah. seeing his name on the. So two points. That's not bad. So I get two points. And, and the only two said, I probably knew. We could have said Neil deGrasse Tyson and got a point. No, yeah, yeah, we said Neil deGrasse Tyson. Right. Nobody would miss him. <laughs> Oh man, that... we had we had that name and we had Steve Novella and we crossed them mm -hmm. off because they were too obvious. Yeah, we did too. With that was fascinating. Tyson and Brian Cox. We crossed. Okay, you ready to see the scores? Us. Here's the score. The winner is R.I.P. Willie Mays and Donald Sutherland. Who's next? Fingers Ooh, crossed. Ooh, not in last place. Yay! You did really. That was. Look at the scores on that. Two point yeah. two. I <laughs> love it. Mono rules rule. <laughs> I love mono rules. It's so much fun to see you guys. You know, it's strategy. It's, it's You're boggle, a sadist, boggle rules, Susan. Do you ever play the game Boggle? Yeah, yeah, of course. I was there, on Boggle and boggle Grapple rules. And games. Yeah, but we call it mono rules because. Mono play invented trivia, it, and he is he um, introduced it. He yeah. he's the one to that the kind of came invented up with the it. idea. And so. invented it. Yeah. Sounds yeah. like there might be a trademark infringement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if we called it Boggle Rules, maybe, mm -hmm. but we I don't get, believe get, Mono yeah, has be been trademarked. Said Boggle, yeah. but Mono e Mono. Yeah, so I like <laughs> Mono Rules because I don't know because they're strategy. I like strategy games, and nobody will. Play but it really makes it luck, though. It's not strategy; it's luck. So somebody's got to bring some strategy oh. games to Psycon so I can play them. But I only want to play people who are good. So don't bring it and not practice. It is so you don't want to play people who are come evil. Up with the more obscure names. Let's play That's Risk. Strategy. I may bring Risk. Isn't this thing going on long enough? You want to add a Risk to it? No, this, no, this, no. Cars this is are going to leave soon. And it made me want to play the of these people. And I haven't had dinner yet. So oh my goodness! Do you, yeah. do you still need people for next week? 
Oh my gosh. Thank you for asking. Let's get the people for next week. Otherwise I have to do this again. And that would be <laughs> bad. Good Alan, night, are you Alan. saying you want to play? Alan? No, he's you just goodbye. volunteer. I'm seeing you waving your hand. <laughs> yeah, he's saying he's saying me, right? I don't think so. so. I'm gonna sign off, but quickly. And Ron, did, Ron said, "What well, did you want me to do? The early um, bonus bonus on, in two weeks, um, July fourth. And you're going to guarantee that there will be a cabal of Canadians there for the first couple of rounds. <laughs> you have what July fourth, people. <laughs> you might have to recruit them." Okay, I'll so be there for you. Drag okay, Adrian, so you got to drag Adrian. Okay, I will so do one of the first week, rounds. Then. I need some players. I've got Rob and Carl. Oh, I can do one, but it's going to be a Billy Joel category. So you oh. guys better. No, Karen's got up. Who else? Sure, it's going to be Karen. You're um, first. I won't be here. That's... I always volunteer if you need me. Okay, Gail's up. Do you want a bonus? I need a bonus and a category. Who wants what? I'll do a bonus. I haven't done that in a long time. Okay, do a mono's rule. Well, you, you can only do that if it's a large set of things. Not this worked large, out perfectly yeah. today. Yeah, it was a large two. set. It was a large set. So okay, I need one more category for next week, or nobody's leaving this room. I said I can do a Billy Joel round, but you don't want to hear it. So then I do that. That's fine. I don't want Billy Joel. But you can read it. You can research it a little bit and learn. It's going to be tough. He, it, no, Kevin is going to do a mystery round. Yeah, don't get that is a Billy Joel song. A is it Piano Man? Be, <laughs> I could do a mystery round. <laughs> I don't see any volunteers. Come on, man. Is that oh Brandy? Is that you? I think I saw her waving her arm around. Ooh. Okay, so Brandy and do Kyle. One. Robin's got it. Could do a joint category. We've okay, Karen, that. Rob, Carl, Robin, and Gail. You guys rule. So All right. I, I could do one um the following week. The fourth, yeah, the following week, fourth okay, of July. Selena. Wonderful. Excellent. Okay, so we are set. And we finished. You're promising there will be a lot of people attending. Well, not, not just to Canadians. It's July 4th. <laughs> so we're what's wrong with time? just Canadians? 36. That's good. So I I just want Except to put for a Donald Sutherland. He won't be here. No, he won't no. be here. That's He'll be there in spirit. Who, that's one Canadian who won't be here. He's starting mm. to show up. Well, um, do you guys want another uh, Gusan appearance? <laughs> sure. Yeah. I, 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 I like to be surprised. Him. Put me down for two weeks for Gusan. I did on watch the 11th. The the clip you posted earlier, Susan, with um, what was his Hi, name? Hi, everybody. Canadian. Hi, Gail. Hi, Gail. Hi, Gail. Hi, Gail. Thank you. Hi. I won't be here on the 11th, which is game 223, because I will be at the Magic Castle. And I will not be here on the 18th, I, because I will be flying into uh, Buffalo. I think oh, we'll be shuffling. Why won't already? you be shuffling, Susan? Shuffling? Plus it's Shuffle July. Into Buffalo. Into Buffalo. Buffalo. Shuffling into Buffalo? Plus it's Buffalo. July. I don't get it. What? It's a song. You shuffle, shuffle off, off to Buffalo. Old, old song. It's, isn't it shuffling off to Buffalo? Yeah. 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 What is it? What is yeah. it? Buffalo, Buffalo, it's a Buffalo, song. Buffalo, Buffalo. Just called Shuffle Off to Buffalo. Maybe, it's maybe there'd be a person that would do the whole night, would do all the categories that night. Well, they got to open the rooms and run the game. So we'll have to have somebody who can do that. I would appreciate it well, for two. Weeks. Rob already signed off. They could be two Ooh. weeks. What about five rounds of Keanu Reeves? <laughs> Pick no, a movie. Four rounds with a bonus of lighthouses. <laughs> and ten punch and Judy. I could do a lighthouse round that would be real easy. <laughs> Why? I want. You know, I, that's the big question. Why? I want. <laughs> Mixed scores. I want various people you to like them hard. Low scores. Well, not hard, but I want I want people to not always just know everything. I want them to be like, you know, somebody's gonna somebody's gotta have a chance to be able to know something that other people don't know. You know, you know what I thought I like we could do? Like I thought we could do this some week. In the first few minutes after you decide the team names, everybody talk amongst yourself within your team and come up with two questions that you think that one other person somewhere in the group will have an answer. And that way, if you get it right, 
they get the point. If no one gets it right, you don't get a point. You know what I'm saying? So I my team will come up with two. Another team comes up with two. So there's, five, there's 10 different questions, but you only know two of them. Like I would ask what happened on this date and somebody in my room knows it. And so we're going to get the point. We're going to get two points guaranteed because I know the answers. And everybody's going to get at least two points, but you have to have questions that so, you know what I'm saying? It's a mixed round. Well, what if you have too many people in your room or not enough people in your room? You have to do is come up with two questions. Okay, but what if Kevin, only two can people you do in your something room? so you're not coming in and out like that? I can freeze. It's very, it's <laughs> Yeah, it's my hands. It's my hands. No, it's it's the background. You have to get rid of the background. When you're moving, your hands make Yeah, my hands. I can't move. Hold still, Kevin. So the problem with that is, is I think it would just take longer. Yeah. And we're you, already, we're already. Well, everybody time. right now should come up with one question. <laughs> and then when you're in your, you know, between now and next week. And then whenever you do this, you just tell your people in your group, like, hey, this is my question. What do you think? No, I like my question. And then you decide on two questions to run. That's all. So, you know what I'm saying? So every group will come up with two questions. No, and I, I don't understand it. I don't understand and, it at all. And how would it make things better? How would that improve? No, on, it just makes it easier there. to come up with a category. <laughs> oh, I don't have a problem coming up with a category. It would make it easier for people to who can't come up with five or ten questions. They can come up with just one. Two. No, one. people can come up with ten questions. I they know, can. but just read the don't. read the New York Times or the Washington Post. I, I get it. I've done I've done a whole night before. I'm just saying, if for some people to just come up with one question they think is really good, but they don't have a whole category. I think people are not people... failing to do categories because they can't. Think no, of I know that. But, they don't. But remember want in to. the beginning when Susan did it only herself, and I was the one that who suggested, sense, "Let you? me try it once. Let Rob try it once." And then when we did it, she loved it. Good night, I'm Robin. If but everybody you know came up with Robin. one Kevin, question. Robin. Kevin, you can do, and I used to do this, uh, 10 random questions. I, I know. To do with you're anything. Trying I know. To I'm just saying to get. You're fixing a problem that doesn't exist. <laughs> no, I know. But oh, he's trying yeah, to, I know. He's gonna, I'm trying to add something to it. So He's trying when, to shake it up a bit. Yeah, so I'm next confused. week, you have one question in mind. Everybody has come up with one. So when you get teams Kevin, in there, you what if your it. team only has three people on it? You only need two questions. I think you said you each team has to have ten. No, two no, questions. Two questions. Two. I'm going to leave. I I five oh, I see. That's they, how you're coming uh, up with ten. I've got a question. Yes. I've got a question. How do oh, people, sorry, I people feel really... about two-part two questions? It's uh, two uh, answers. It's question uh, one and question two. Yeah, right. like I okay. had that, I had a category where you mm -hmm. got, uh, there were five answers essentially, but it was the first and last name. So you got one point if you knew the first name, one point if you knew the set, the last name. And if you only knew the last name, you got a point, you know, but, but then every five answer, questions. Yeah, every answer gets one point. Yeah, okay. we decided that, a long time yeah. ago, Bill, that not so we've done to that. Yeah, multi Karen yeah. did it one of the weeks I was gone. I remember seeing it on Yeah, we did video. it in the beginning. We did it a lot. I would say like, Name the three stooges real names. And if you didn't get all three right, you get no points. And then, then Rob said, No, no, you that's question one, question two, and question three. Name the three stooges. Okay, right. but, but people don't object to two part questions as long as you get a point for each part. Yeah, it, it yeah so if it's under 10 points, that's two fine. Question, two and, point and a question, total 10 points, questions. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. And okay. it actually yeah. speeds up the game a little bit because, yeah, like Karen says, yeah, you're I like, think I'll give a point for each name. I think that's been fairly common, you know. What well, is? I haven't the... seen it very often. So I was... well, we had the. I think I happened, did it once. We had we had a player who doesn't play anymore, but she came in and she says, "Name ten um, Audrey Hepburn films for a point." And that's, and you're like, no, that's really a bonus round. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it didn't make any sense. Or she said, "There's six six movies that Audrey Hepburn had done." names the six of them for one point and we're like well who's gonna do that just skip skip that question move to something else that's six questions names yeah but so that's when yeah. we finally said yeah. no we can't do this anymore it has yeah. to be and, one and question are, I, I, uh that's all i was for six questions okay. yeah you could do it but counted as question one and question two like one time when when um ron did it he said like name this one of these two and then the question two was name the other yeah <laughs> That's it. Yeah, that's been done. He that's made fine. it funny. So he's like, you'd have to name one of two people. And then question two, name the other. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember seeing that. 
Mm -hmm. uh, We've done that several and times. Rob, yeah. does, Rob doesn't see mm -hmm. Rob and I object to some of the rules when oh, Carl and Ka the MC yeah, is going to be Jim Underdown. Are we still recording? Well, or I think <laughs> I had a question with the Caribbean <laughs> islands, and there was a that was something that you know that was a category that all there was like three three islands that answered the question, and I gave you credit if you just came out. Came with up one, one, yeah. out of, I like one out that of the too. three. I like to say, you know, if you know one of the three number one songs that Billy Joel did. Exactly. That yeah, that kind of thing. So but there could be possible did answers, it. but you'd get right if you got one of Multiple them. Multiple questions you just need to get. That makes Wendy's it Wendy's trying to ask a question. Yeah, I'm saying why? They've got so many other people. Why? Ha 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 ha. Well, it was sure. Oh. <laughs> oh, it looks like my mom. He needs to brush his teeth. Chewbacca's got like something there. The scary part was when I showed my friend yeah, at work that picture. She goes, "Oh, he's too scary. I got to change the dog's name." I says, "No, not again." And then she started <laughs> thinking about calling her Junior. Her her boyfriend you wants know. to call her Junior. Well, if you want to name a dog after a Wookiee, you should name it Lumpy because that's Chewbacca's son. You yes, should I've, never I've ask the, the internet to special. name your dog. No. When I got trashed, I made that mistake. And, you know, Facebook friends, you know, which I, and then because we've always done Pacific Northwest names, I picked uh, the Trask River, which was our favorite place to get, second favorite place to go swimming is beautiful river. And and, you know, somebody trash, you're naming oh. your dog trash. <laughs> and then somebody else says, no, it sounds too much like something Sarah Palin would name one of her kids. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. I still remember that kid that came to the eclipse and his name was his Trask. Name is Trask. I have no idea where he came from, who he was, why he came, where he went. He knew there was another Trask there. Somebody was saying Trask. Trask. And the Who kid's like, invited him? My how did he end up at our house? And he it says, there's nice. a party there. And he came with somebody else. I don't know who it was. But that's half the fun of these with. parties. We don't know who they are. They don't know. I no idea and he's probably was. still telling the story. I went to this party and, and there was a dog just, and his name I was met Trask. a dog named Trask. <laughs> All right, you guys. It's been Good wonderful night. being with you tonight. See you next week. See you in Buffalo. Right. That was a right. lot of fun. Next that was fun. Is, okay. I'm going to watch the beginning probably oh. the beginning of the, of the uh debate and then i'm going to turn everything off and nobody's allowed to say anything and then do our trivia and then go back and watch the final question, question, if, if question. The debate actually happened it's going to be hard yeah. to do. yes if it happened peggy didn't come tonight how is she doing she should be home yeah so i told her i asked her she I yeah. texted her a few times and I said, are you home on Sunday? I text her and she says, no, they won't let me out on a Sunday. I have to wait until Monday. I said, if you're not home Monday, Karen, and I'm going to go pick up Karen. We're going to come in. We're going to break you out. And she said, that you. would she be the breakout. Much you and Karen would be a breakout team. You would, you would make that happen. I said, absolutely. Karen has experience. And I told yep. her if she stayed yep. in, if she stayed into the, if she stayed in there long enough into the um, home, she didn't get out of there quick. I was going to start her GSOW training. Yeah. <laughs> she says, Karen, I don't know if, if I could do I it. If I ever get stuck in some place, I am calling you to break me you out. Get Karen. Karen is really yeah, Karen's going to set up the I know. team. She's, she I is. Know. I'll just she be the driver. She texted, me yesterday. she texted me yesterday and she is home and her niece is taking really good care of her. Oh, that's so much, yeah, that's so much good care that Peggy said that she's really going to have to work to convince her niece of her independence. To so that's okay. That's wonderful. That's okay. Having somebody take care of you is just fine. Well, I'm really bit. glad great, to hear that. Great to have a niece. Yeah, yeah. But Susan, I thought you said that Deborah, not Deborah, that Paula was the one who saw her in the hospital. But it was no, Deborah. It was Deborah. That and was so, so funny. funny. So, so then I thought she was in LA because why would oh, Deborah go sense. in to visit somebody? So, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Peggy ended up having, um, was flying back from Portugal and a couple of days after she got home, she ended up having a, a uh, like a 
in the leg. Blood clot. Blood clot, yeah. So she had to go into get surgery, surgery, and then she ended up having to go into a rest home for a few a week or week and a half, two weeks. And um, that's what, what they do now. I I I don't remember that. Well, she didn't have anybody at home to take care of her. So she they didn't have anyone home to take care of. Yeah. Her. So they so she went into a home. What was it I was starting to say? Oh, about Peggy that that um. Well, she had a DVD. Deborah, you said you told the story of Deborah going in. Oh, 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 Deborah, to Deborah, see Deborah, another friend. Yeah, yeah. so Deborah. But I thought De you said Paula. Yeah, okay. So Deborah went to the the rest home to go see her her friend who was in there for a reason for Field surgery nursing reasons. facility for reasons. yeah. And she goes into the room and she's talking to her friend, and her friend is saying, "Oh, I had the worst roommate, but now I got this really awesome roommate. She's great," <laughs> and. Deborah's like, oh, that's wonderful. And then as Deborah was starting to leave, she realized that the roommate is Peggy. So now, Peggy. so Peggy and Deborah's good friend are in the same room at the same place. It was perfect. So Deborah's like, oh, that's awesome. They're both in the same room. And they're but both they're friends of mine. Plan. Kill two birds with one stone. It was a really <laughs> odd coincidence. I went to the gym for the second time today. And I met this 94-year-old man, and he Ooh. could barely walk. He was very slow. He was kind of unstable on his feet, but then he was doing, it was a pack thing, and he was going to every exercise thing. And I looked, and this is something I can do barely with really light, but I have a shoulder problem, which is why I'm in physical therapy right now. And I looked and that guy was doing 140 pounds. Wow. And, Holy and I said, you are an inspiration. You're amazing. And he said he had been in a car accident, had hurt his back, had fallen and hurt his knee. And so he had had these surgeries and at 94, you know, trying to come back, he said, my my balance isn't very good and, and he's so slow moving from thing to thing. But he said, if I didn't come into the gym every day, I wouldn't be able to get out of bed. And so, <laughs> and it was amazing the things he was doing. Once he could get between between the exercise equipment, then, it, then he was just like, wow. I think She's anytime someone tells you about an accident they've had, you should just say, have you ever been knocked over by a three-legged dog? Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I, I think said, you win, Janine. You I, always are going that. Yeah, but his his was worse than at, 90, at 94. He says, yeah, I'm not 70 anymore. <laughs> <laughs> not, not a young spring chicken like, anymore. I'll well, not a young mind. chicken like a president. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm never gonna run for the president. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night. I will see you online or wherever else. I gotta get this video uploaded. So next week's the debate. Yep, it's early. Bye. Good night. Wow. Bye. Good morning. <laughs>